Hello everybody! Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is for you, where you are. Happy Thursday! Welcome back to the stream. I hope everyone's doing good. I am joined by Stream Starting Cat. Good kitty. Hello Hazel. Miss Kira. Addicted to this cross pattern right now, but still gonna watch Hazel. What's the pattern of? Hello? Hi. Hi. I decided I'm gonna sit out the um, I'm gonna sit out time rift o'clock at least at nine. We might go back at ten or eleven if I remember, but it's too much. It's just too much to try to start the stream and time rift at the same time. I am gonna hatch this bronze dragon egg for the whelp daycare because I don't. I've begun putting it off, and I can't imagine why. The whelp dailies don't take very long, and they give wonderful things, and they're very cute. <laughs> so. I'm going to at least hatch the bronze egg and get started on that before we disappear into mog farming for the day. Halloween Quaker from Lila's studio. Oh, hey Hazel. Ha hey everyone. We are learning, not doing the rift. Progress. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Erin. I hope you have a fantastic day. Born of the Northern Sea, thank you very much for the bits. Wow, your hair color looks fantastic. Uh, between you and Teeny, but they are playing Baldur's Gate. I need my wow time. We got a wow time. Also, I can share. <laughs> Bronze Whelp is my favorite. Working on my vampire today after work. Very excited. Nice. <sighs> I've been, I wore my, I wore my blood troll transmog to raid last night. It's apparently not my lucky blood troll transmog because I did not get my legendary weapon. Uh, however, um, oh, that is a big egg. <laughs> I didn't get my legendary, but there's always next week. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, this is the one with allergies. <laughs> That's right. That's cute. Um, but it should be even shorter raid clears from now on because we're just gonna do skip skip Sarkareth kills every week for the uh, <laughs> so that myself and the other evoker can have our legendary chance and then uh, and then and then that'll that'll be good. Oh, okay, okay. And for a moment I thought that was gonna port me back to Veldraken, but <laughs> we're not that lucky. I guess I can hearth there. I don't know if I'm do going anywhere in this character right away. Uh, any idea where your ATT percentage was before you started this farming spree? You know what? I don't really. I know my cloth percentage was in the 80% range, but that's not the game that I'm playing anymore. And infuriatingly, I checked when I was launching the stream so that I could have a number to put in the stream title. And I checked on Petal Bloom, and it's the account number, so it shouldn't really matter which character I'm on because it's it's independent of armor type in class. It's counting all of the class stuff. And yet, it seems to be a different number. Now, when I go, when I, when I pull up the main list, it's showing me at 54.04, and I'm pretty sure that's not what I said. Um, where is my stream title? My stream title says 54.42. So I don't know where I lost for two percent of the things. I think maybe um, maybe what happened is there's more empty things that got cataloged when I logged into my main. I think that might be the thing that happened. So I didn't lose any things collected. I just gained more things that I could possibly collect. But anyways, it's, it's put me back. I guess I should update the title. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to lie. Um, edit. Can I can I change it? No, not from there. Open dashboard. Now that would have worked. That's okay. I am I am. Uh, a young hit person that definitely knows how to use my computer. 54 point. All right, we're backsliding. Oh, four. <laughs> Anyways, it's somewhere in the 54% range. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd love to say 52, but I have no idea if I'm just making that up or not. Hmm. Uh, I haven't checked out Palia yet. It looks, it, I've heard that it looks cute. I, people have been telling me that it looks lovely. How rare is the Lego drop? It's hard to say. Um, pretty rare, but getting less rare with bad luck protection stacking up if you've been keeping up with uh, heroic or mythic kills, I think is the general idea. Um, so that's not, that daily is not the one I'm looking at. So we're, we're going to get out of here. <sighs> I am trying to decide if I would prefer, I think for now we're going to do this. I was trying to decide if I would prefer farming... Um, like continuing to chase my ATT random goals or just kind of going for bulk mog. 
I think the random's working for me. I think I'm having fun with that. Even if it's not the way to get the most Mog the fastest, it is getting me more Mog. <laughs> Um, so I've got two more leather wearing characters I can take through 10 man heroic ICC to try to get the leggings of unrelenting blood is what I was looking at. Uh, Stormwind. Oh, I see those are all vendor stuff. They are both um, not healing classes, so they both have band-aids so we can get past Velridia. <laughs> the the boots that I need actually, or pardon me, the, the pants that I need to actually drop off of uh, Sorfang, Mr. Needs a Dentist. <sighs> but um, I end up full clearing ICC anyways because there's still like Mog I need off of the Lich King on, on most difficulties. So we're gonna, let's see. We can we can run, run, run along up here. I don't know why I don't have a dragon riding back key down. <sighs> don't know if I've ever seen you update your stream title. It'll update for the live view, but the VOD name won't change. I know this because once... I put, I went live with a typo or a, an, an incorrect punctuation mark. I had an apostrophe where no apostrophe was needed. And I went live with that and I was looking at it and I'm like, no. And I fixed it like 10 seconds after I went live, but it's still, um, it's still titled the VOD with the incorrect one, even though I was only live with it for like 10 seconds. And I had, and I was so petty about it that I went back and I retitled the Twitch recording of the VOD because I thought, nope. Absolutely not. I will be many things, but I will not be the person <laughs> that puts the apostrophe right there on this particular day. Mm, this one. Here, no cure for the ATT virus yet. Yeah. <sighs> what is going to fix me? Nothing. But when new content comes out, it might distract me for a while. Although I would say there is plenty of new content that I'm kind of sort of ignoring. I could certainly... For a while, I was on like a real hot streak of... um. I was on a nice hot streak of gearing up, like leveling alts, gearing them, playing them, doing alt keys, doing alt raid runs. And apparently that's over now because I I, I must have more Mog. <laughs> There's always more Mog. <sighs> Only did the Tuscar cooking pot thing for the first time today. Need to dragon play. It's so fun. Oh man, that was the, the glory of the first patch. Do you want to update your new game command? Have a feeling Pally will come up more and more. Um, yeah. Eh, maybe. Not like at this particular moment, but I'll keep that in mind. Getting a lot of random classic Mog from the dented pieces from next tier 3 farming. Mm. Um, I have not watched that video, no. I have, um, I have YouTube blocked on my computer and other devices right now in a misguided attempt to be more productive that hasn't worked at making me more productive, although I do read more books. <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. Done. Raid difficulty, heroic, 10 player. <sighs> okay. Maybe you do have plans to check out that particular new game. I, I barely have plans for lunch. <laughs> and by that I mean I don't have plans for lunch. I'll probably eat something. That's about as far as I've gotten. <sighs> lunch is hard. Lunch is easier than dinner. Um, I think just because my normal lunch meals are a smaller scope. There's maybe like three to five different things that I'll generally do. So it's not a question of you could have anything. It's a question of which of these three to five things sounds reasonable for you for lunch today. Okie dokie. So if I... This is this is 10, 10 man Hurok ICC. I only have 40% of this mock. But if we narrow it down to leather... Um, it's going to be much less because I've been doing a lot of, a lot of ICC on leather. It's because all the things random just keep spitting out leather for me. However, um, Rogue can get quite a few things, even f like weapons and stuff. So these leggings here off of Sarfang are what I'm technically after, but I will accept, um, any of, any of the rest of this. And it looks like there is still weapons I could get off of Lich King. So I'll do a full clear. Shall I put on some poisons? Day is struggling with executive function today. Solidarity. Rotate between three lunch meals, generally. I want to ask you what are yours, but that's going to beg the follow-up question of what are mine. And I'm not, like, wildly proud of mine. They're not, like, the healthiest thing. They are just inexpensive and convenient um, and provide food to get you through the rest of the day. <laughs> Hi, I can watch today. Hello, Island. Mm. I need to get back onto the meditation train. It always helps me whenever I'm doing it, and I never stick with it for... The longest I ever stuck with it was like a year and a half, and I was so excited because I thought I was a changed lady. And then, nope, you can still fall off the wagon. <laughs> well, hey, there's Karakta groups up today. 
All right, Marigar, would you like to give me... There's three things you could give me. Any of them? Oh, yeah, I got a Bone Breaker Scepter. I needed that. That's a one-handed mace. Ah, I get to keep. <laughs> <sighs> don't have to share if you don't want to. We like getting through the day here. I'll share. Um, they all they all have a common theme of carbs. Um, and yeah, <laughs> carbs and fat because that's what that's where most of my energy comes from. And then sometimes I will have generally a side of vegetables, which is a generic term that could mean steamed broccoli or I actually buy, you know those big packs of frozen vegetables that are like the traditional mix of peas, carrots, uh, green beans, and then I don't remember if there's corn in it or not, but you can get gigantic bags of it pretty inexpensive, even with Canadian grocery prices. Death Whisper, any luck? Mm, nope, not that time. <sighs> I will buy those and I will just um, boil them for a little bit and then I'll just stick them in a bowl with a tiny bit of margarine, salt, and pepper and I'll just eat it like cereal and then be like, wow, I've eaten vegetables and I'm fine with that. <laughs> so... One meal is grilled cheese sandwich with side of either frozen vegetables or broccoli. The other one is craft dinner, again, with side of frozen vegetables or broccoli. The third one is um, vegetarian baked beans, sometimes with vegetarian hot dogs chopped up and put into it. Uh, in that case, I usually put the frozen vegetables directly in the baked beans, and then I'll put the cheese on top, sometimes with toast if I'm hungry. That's a good one if I've had a run that day and I feel like I didn't catch up on my food. Um, are those the three main ones? Grilled cheese... Sometimes craft dinner could be um, swapped out for regular pasta with, um, with like if I have leftover pasta sauce in my fridge, I will do some of that. Um, that was that was yesterday was broccoli and then macaroni and tomato sauce. <laughs> have you made the executive decision to get takeout for dinner? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Steamed broccoli, huge chunk of firm tofu, Greek yogurt, cherries on the side. That sounds delightful. Edamame, hard boiled eggs, green leafy veg, apple. Hmm. Um, interested by these baked beans. I mean, it's it's mostly like a nostalgia thing. <laughs> when I was a young person who stopped eating meat, uh, my parents were like, fine, but you have to make sure you're getting enough protein. I don't think we knew about iron yet, um, but they were like, all right, you, you can eat whatever you want as long as you make sure your nutritional needs are met, which I thought was very responsible. And, and uh, one of, so basically we looked it up and we're like, all right, she can have protein from baked beans and peanut butter, and I th and maybe eggs. <laughs> that might have been the third thing that occurred to us for a young pescatarian that was affordable. Um, so I had those things, generally speaking, on hand, and I ate a lot of peanut butter toast, and I ate a lot of baked beans <laughs> and veggie tongs. <laughs> and you know what? I survived. I grew up. It worked out. Okie dokie. Mm. According to D4A, going back a month... You've gotten an increase of 1,003 points, which I think means you got 1,000 appearances. How did you go back a month? Item source, not unique appearances. Interesting. Uh, athletic, my muscles will die if I don't get enough. That's fair. <sighs> I don't think kebab sounds unhealthy. I think unhealthy is when you have, like, fries for dinner. My bar is on the floor. <laughs> and I'm saying this as somebody that has, within the last two months, had fries for dinner. I am not here to judge anybody for their food choices. <laughs> <sighs> Data for Azeroth does it for you. There's a graph. Oh, dear lord. That's dangerous. <laughs> that sounds so dangerous. Okay. I did not get Midnight Sun from Gunship Battle. We're hoping for these legs from Sorafang. Because if I get the legs, I will finish the run. But then I will also switch my farming to Leather Heart of Fear. <laughs> okay. Murden, ready to go. Wish my appetite would be satisfied with fries for dinner. It wasn't a good day. It was poutine, to be fair. It was a place that, like, that sold, like, meal poutines with other stuff on them. But um, I was I was occupied. I think I might have been raiding while it was being ordered. <laughs> and I ended up just with, like, a regular one. So it was just fries and vegetarian gravy and then cheese. So there was cheese involved. But, like, it was, uh, it was, it was not a good tummy night. <laughs> now you're talking. <sighs> um... I wouldn't advise to click it like I did. Working on the Sojourner quest? My goodness, Azura spans a lot. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm a pastry chef, so everything I make isn't really good for you. Tasty, made with real ingredients. Uh, fries or potatoes, paid potatoes in life. You're speaking to the person living in French Canada. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty good. It would have been fine if it was like a fifth of the size and if it was eaten alongside other stuff. 
Um, the trouble was when it was mostly fries for dinner. Mm. If you want to make line go up, surely what you would do is visit every raid possible once. Yeah, that would probably make sense. Um, sometimes I think about just like taking one character like my evoker and just going through every single raid, like starting at Molten Core and then going just off the list. Although Molten Core would be rough because evoker won't even have any tier there. I did not get the boot, the legs I needed, so we're out of luck on that. Um, we've got a handful of things that we could get. <sighs> yeah, honestly, leather leather ICC is getting not dry, but a little dry um, for for these characters. So you're right. If I was just trying to make bar go up, I would probably get out of here and just start doing bulk clears. Are you downloading Baldur's Gate? I am not downloading Baldur's Gate. Doctor's happy as long as I manage to eat something. Mm -hmm. uh, Fifty-four percent is account wide. Um, Fifty-four percent is account wide. This character might be. Is it true that the character couldn't be less? I don't really understand how numbers work. <laughs> um, it, for cloth, it, when I was back collecting only cloth, I made it to somewhere in the 80s, although it may have fallen back down with more content coming out. I am collecting all armor and weapon types. I'm not collecting achievements, if that makes anybody feel any better. <laughs> I'm not collecting achievements, and I'm not worried about unique appear or unique unique item IDs. Um, at least in, in, in name, I'm not worried about unique item IDs. <sighs> Um, but yeah, all, all armor types, all class sets, all weapon types, that kind of thing. <laughs> I figure that'll keep me busy for a while, right? You know, you don't want to run out of things to do on stream. <laughs> You're just getting achievements as they happen to you. I do feel like my achievement points number, I have, uh, 30,000 achievement points, and I think that's respectable, but it is generally just as, they're incidental achievements, um, I rarely seek them out for their own sake. I have just too many other things to do. Oh, I got bracers I needed. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Wrists of septic shock. And I never need to farm those again. Look, I remember to click the thing and everything. Uh, what's your strat for collecting? Blind flailing. Um, I'm missing so many things that I can pretty much take any character and go do anything. And there will be some kind of mog I can collect. Right now, just to keep myself from going absolutely bonkers, I am doing all the thing random to give me a specific goal, and then getting incidental mog while I chase that goal, and then getting a different random goal. Although I'm kind of tempted to just do like a bunch of different raid clears today, my main. That does sound kind of fun. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, you could give me legs and boots, evidently. If you want to, if you want to be nice, nope, okie dokie. And then, wow, I didn't even run past it. Character growth. Katie, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're still here. Hi. What, uh, what else was yesterday? Raid night. Raid night was fine. <laughs> I brought my shadow priest for a while and left them to uh, three heal for a bit because one of our one of our players came on a healer alt for a while, so I swapped off to my DPS alt. I need to craft. I need to um, talk to Flabby. I think he can make me a cloak. My can I put a shadow flame armor patch in a cloak? I feel like I can, but I haven't double checked. I need to. I need to get my second embellish back online. I'm getting all antsy about my meters, even though I'm doing perfectly fine damage. But I'm getting all antsy about my meters, and I'm not even wearing two embellishes. I need to I need to fix that. <laughs> Presto. Pronto. Stat. <sighs> Truly is an anime trading arc. You should have seen um when we first like the, the difference between when I first started running Legion Karazan for Midnight and then by the time I actually got them out. It took me a long time. Vanquisher mark, nice, I need that. Um it took me a long time to get Oh, to learn my way around that place. I was, it was truly a, like a nightmare for a while of turn around. No, back that way. Up the stairs. You can jump off that thing. Um, because I just could not figure out my way around there for, for weeks, like months. But then, you know, it took us 473 attempts to get that mount. And somewhere along the way, I learned how to do it. <laughs> hmm. Real good at pa fast meals, patching instant meals to make them better. Pour protein of veggies to a pack of instant ramen. I think that's really smart. <sighs> it'll only take another 40 years to 100% ADT. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get there. I'm all about the journey. Um, if I ever do get there, then I should probably examine what else I've not done in my life. <laughs> Thank you to get. They had content too fast for me. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever catch up, especially with how fast they're adding content lately. Um, I don't think I'd ever realistically catch up. Not unless I decide to just like... <laughs> 
commit my commit my 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 time all of it you know you spend eight hours a day streaming doing nothing but farming stuff then maybe you would make some progress but even then it would be tough because eventually you're going to run into stuff that takes much longer to get individual item ids if you ever hit 100 percent, you're allowed to just delete wow walk outside oh, i might like outside too much to get 100 percent, but i can always get more that's the tagline i'm never going to get it all but i can always get more hmm Okay, Lanithel has, uh, she could just give me a bank mark. And then upstairs. Oh no, Lanithel is upstairs. This guy can't give me anything. Although he says boots and then legs. That seems strange. Am I confused? I might be. That's okay. <sighs> I don't have any plans to play Baldur's Gate. Uh, to be honest, I don't know really anything at all about it. I'm not much of a new game chaser. I say as I do a raid from 2008. <sighs> uh, when was the last time I actually played a different game that was like a new game? I mean, I played Final Fantasy for a hot minute, but that wasn't new. It was, it was, and that was one of the reasons why I actually played it was because it wasn't new. It had kind of stood the test of time by then. I'd spent, you know, years listening to my, my hairstylist and my tattoo artist tell me about everything they're doing in it, which kind of helped build some credibility for it. Asperry74, thank you for the three-month reset. Animal Crossing, yeah, that's true. I do love Animal Crossing. Story-driven RPG, you wouldn't like it. Mm, that's fair. I'm, uh... Oh, I'm not keeping up with my life as it stands. I don't need to add anything else to it. Did he finish Pokemon? I'm sure I must have. I don't think I, I, don't think I put any of them down until I'd at least beaten the main games. Um, I certainly didn't 100% Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting lots of bank marks. Um, I'll be able to get a couple of, uh couple of pieces of tier set upgrades. If we go into Ice Crown Citadel. Ice Crown Citadel, 25 men normal. Oh, interesting. Why does she have so much of that? Has it just been dropping for me? Man braces. Anyways, I can I can certainly upgrade a pair of regular shoulders to get that. I can finish that set today. That's kind of cool. All right, pray for me with Velrithia. She's got shoulders I need. I could just run past her and give up on the shoulders, but I'm going to torment myself and spend 15 minutes trying to kill her with bandages. <laughs> or try to heal her with bandages. Um, assuming that I have them on me. Okay, never mind. I'm running past her. I didn't bring bandages. <laughs> I could have sworn I had them. I must. Did I vendor them? I might, I might have vendored them. That might have been something I did. No bandages ripped. Yeah. Eh, it saves us some time. <laughs> Cindergos is just a bank mark. Lich King is like weapons. Oh, I don't have. It's because it's ten. If I, <laughs> if this lockout wasn't so restrictive, you can only do one ICC in a week on a given character. So like, given that I've started this lockout, I don't really want to not finish it when I need stuff from Lich King because you never know how long it's going to take for him to give stuff like this up. But it's uh, it's so much RP. Item restore them? Oh no, I can just buy more for like eight gold. I just can't be bothered right now. <sighs> Falrithi is just one pair of shoulders, and I'm sure, I'm sure will they'll drop eventually because I'm still gonna be slamming druids through here for the um for the legs, especially if I don't take night flame through. Although night flame has bandages. Hmm. BG three, very good. Just don't think you would super enjoy them. Mm. How do you get all the island mounts? Um, the boxes that you buy for doubloons. Most of my mounts came from the boxes that you buy for doubloons. I would think I was supposed to not engage those. I think I was supposed to just run around. I don't know if I can actually open this now. Oops. Um, <laughs> vanish? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. <sighs> there goes my plan of just hearthing out and giving up. <laughs> Uh, farming all difficulties for all item IDs, non-healers and normal and healers and heroic. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, isn't a heart of Azeroth very first power? Uh, yeah, you can totally do it. I just don't have a heart on this character. Or if I do, it's in her bank. <sighs> don't mind me, I'm just not prepared. <laughs> She go to Black Temple next until Illidan then. <laughs> Illidan was right. He was. He had a point this whole time. No, I think she's skippable. I've never tried it, so you could be right. I, and I'll find out shortly. 
but uh, my understanding was that, that at some point along the way they made her skippable. I guess I'm stealth. Maybe I need to unstealth for this. <sighs> so that people that can't can't or won't heal her <laughs> can uh, can finish the, the run. But this is the first time I'm actually trying skipping it because usually I'm stubborn enough to have at it with band-aids. What are your mount slash legacy raid add-ons that help the most? All the things. All the things is the big main one. I don't really use a lot of add-ons for mounts. Um, I mean, I have mount journal enhanced, but that's mostly just for more more fun things in the mount journal. It doesn't really help me farm them in any meaningful way. Do you think they'll fix evokers? Not going back to visage form after hover? Are they supposed to go back to visage form after hover? I know they're supposed to go back to visage form after soar. And I know it's inconsistent with the rest of the behavior. I'm just trying to think of if the tooltip actually promised that. Is this a is this a bug or is this just a design oversight? Um Cause yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's annoying, but I just have a keybind. I just have a keybind that I use to manually retoggle visage form. I've done it in combat before. <laughs> you know, we'll be in the intermission. We'll be in the, the Sarkarath intermission and I'll be like, I don't want to be a lizard anymore. I have 10 seconds before I have to do anything else. <laughs> nice, nice. Ancient me, thank you very much for the brand new set. Appreciate it. Rarity counting attempts is something many people like. Oh, that's true. I like it when it works. Um, and I think it is working better now that I've enabled alpha, the alpha build. Um. <laughs> Rarity is how I know that I've tried 174 times for Foreman's Gloves from Foreman Thistle Nettle and counted. <sighs> You could give me mostly just a bank mark, right? Like another one. So one, two. I don't even know if I need the second one. Are you farming Thunder Fury? Not at this moment, but eventually. Anything that feels annoying or like it would take a very long time to get just one appearance is something that I am putting on hold until such a time as I feel like I've gotten enough of the rest of the appearances. I'm mostly just kind of looking for bulk right now. I'm not looking for like specific things that are super prestigious or difficult. I'm not doing the Nax mod grind either. It seems like a lot of work and a lot of gold for, especially if I wanted to do it on like all of the different armor sets. Uh, Graze, yeah, that too. Anyone know if there's a complete list of dungeon raid mounts available per instance? Uh, simple armor is decent for that. Um, simple armor will break them down by expansion, so it'll show you here's all the raid drop mounts for BFA, and it'll have a big list of them and show you which ones you have. It's not an add-on though; it's a website. <laughs> what PC hardware are the kids using these days? Whatever they got. <sighs> Since I have a new account running next for stuff to sell, it's great. Get new mogs every run. Only got the mount, not getting the mog. Two point eight mil for a tier set in the class I don't main. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable to put that into a later me problem, which I'm sort of selfishly assuming is going to be a never me problem. Hmm. Want to unlock old Strath, old Max for the achievements. No intention of farming those expensive sets. <sighs> all kids, we all play video games. I remember when there was like a genuine public sentiment, and maybe there still is, and I just don't talk to these people anymore, but I remember when there was a genuine public sentiment that video games were for children and that adults were like weird for playing them. <laughs> it was not that long ago that that was a commonly held belief, at least among people that would talk to me. <sighs> Want to farm next stuff for the gold? People selling the items for 400k plus in some of the big realms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. It would be lovely if he would give me both of these things. <laughs> the sooner I get all of the Mog off of Lich King, the sooner I can stop going all the way to Lich King on this particular difficulty. Um, if I go to account mode, uh, I don't think I can do it in combat. I was gonna see how many things I'm missing in total because Rogue needs two more things, but there may be additional Mogs that I don't have. I think I got the staff yesterday, maybe not. Maybe I got something else. Now these kids from back then are the adults, so, you know. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of habits that I had as a kid or like things that I enjoyed as a kid that I genuinely grew out of and I don't enjoy anymore because I, I don't know. I liked fishing and I still like fishing. I liked looking at bugs and that's still pretty cool. I enjoyed the company of stuffed animals and can't say that's changed. <laughs> Playing with actual toys is the only thing I really grew out of. Yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't, I don't make, I don't make uh, universes with my dolls the way that I used to. I used to, I used to do storylines, um, storylines between like the the Barbies and the different dolls, and uh, I would set up, I would set up shops for the, be I would set up the Beanie Baby economy. My sister and I once spent an extensive amount of time um, making currency. Um, and then assigning jobs and workplaces to our various Beanie Babies. Mine worked at a video rental store, so I also made little fake uh, movies that, that could be rented out in exchange for Beanie Bucks. Um, that, that kept us busy for a while. <laughs> Miss Oakley, thanks for giving out the gift sub. <sighs> Grew out of homework. My parents dislike games, and I find that is weird. Not just digital, but like board games or cards. That is a bit strange. My my parents and grandparents, um, maybe not so much with the video games, although my grandparents did go real hard in Wii Tennis. But, uh, you know, like Cribbage, Rummy, um, Backgammon, Scrabble, you know. <laughs> games, games, games are all the rage. Oh. <sighs> Video rental throwback after throwback. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to me in hindsight that that was the business I chose for my Beanie Babies. Oh, I got Trogbane, Axe of the Frostborn King. I didn't know that was one of my options. <laughs> um, but it, it appeared in Pink's text, which makes me think that I didn't have it collected before. Um, so that's something. I also have plenty of Vanquisher's Marks, so we can pop it back downstairs and see what I need that I can get, that I can get or upgrade with those. <sighs> um, yeah, Lich King. So this is total mode. Are we still in 10-man heroic? Yeah, we are. Look at all this stuff that I still need that's like for other classes. Holy smokes. Probably a lot of plate, eh? Ooh, mail, actually. I guess I haven't taken any hunters or anything through here. Um, if we go all the way to Lich King, I am missing... Uh, you know what? Only three weapons left off of him. Three weapons. And then this Death Knight, which it says already known. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, it's a two-handed mace, a one-handed mace, and a crossbow are the three things that I'm still missing off of Heroic 10-Man Lich King. So as soon as I get those, then, you know, any future Heroic 10-Man runs will can stop at Sidragosa. Games are fun. Yeah, you have to clear the whole thing to get to Lich King. Um, it's a bit of a bummer. I... Okay, so... Those are wanting Heroic Vank Marks. I have non-Heroic Vank Marks. And it looks like those are mostly for gear that I already have learned with the exception of these shoulders. So I, I think I actually don't even need any more on this rogue. So if I want to buy a regular, I mean, I think I have some of these in my bank. Oh yeah, I do. There we go. I have completed the set, Sanctified Shadow Blades Battle Gear, 25 player bracket normal. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm also surprisingly close to getting the normal set done. And I have absolutely none of the heroic color. <laughs> Not a single last little bit. Neat. Okay, so now I need to decide, and we can take her home. Do I want to do ICC one more time on Night Flame to try again for those legs? Or do I want to just go start doing random raids to just get stuff? I think I'm going to do ICC one more time, because I only have one more leather-wearing character that can even farm it, so I may as well feel like I'm given, given that one pair of legs my all every week. Um, even though he won't have any tier that he can get. Do I have Leatrix enabled on this character? Let me see. Leatrix. I do not. <laughs> That's why my auto vendor's not working. Finish it. Try one more time. New raids getting hundreds of new appearances. What if I'm afraid of spending all the dopamine too early? <laughs> Yeah, so that's 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 gonna start auto vendoring some stuff, and then we can just kind of bulk chuck all of this. Very good, very good. Man, collecting all of the transmog from Dragonflight must be an absolute bear. It's got to involve an awful lot of um, 
supplies. It must involve like a steady supply farming circuit because you need so many supplies to buy all the different mogs off of the faction vendors. It's, it's, it's not nothing. You can definitely spend all the dopamine early. Badges to reroll for world boss mounts. Um, you're only able to reroll for mop world boss mounts. The, bo the bonus roll won't work for the rest of them. So you want to do, um, you want to go to the timeless out and kill the frogs. It's going to give you uh, timeless coins as well as lesser charms of elder fortune. And you want to go to turn those in for, you can buy warforge seals and you can buy greater charms of fortune. Um, and those are for the different, the different ones. But you can get the currency for both of them from the same Timeless Isle mobs. Oh, you don't need... Um, Greater Charms of Fortune I get from... You know the Justice Quartermaster and the Toon Long Steps, like, way on the west side of Pandaria? They'll sell them to you out there. If there's another... People try and, tried to tell me that there was a place to buy them in, in um, Shrine. And I could never find it. Maybe it's for Horde. Um, maybe it's in a different phase, but I tried all the phases and I could never find it. I always went all the way out to the Toon Long Steps. I'm going to take Night Flame. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We farmed, we farmed that sword. We farmed that sword out of that Cataclysm dungeon that I had thoroughly forgotten existed. How did he manage to get the name Boy? There's a clip of that. Do I have a command for the clip of that? No, I don't have a command for the clip of that. Um, I'm assuming Heart of the Aspect will eventually get dragon riding. I don't know when. But yeah, it's using the Slither Drake skeleton now. Oh, hey. 33 gold. I sold some Chaos Orbs. Now this boy has bandages. You know what I kind of want to do, actually? How much time would it take me to get a Heart of Azeroth? Because that would be way easier than band-aids. How, how long are we talking here? He obviously doesn't have one. He's never been to BFA. Getting the Heart, I feel like, isn't too bad. But he would need to get the, the power to, like, upgrade it as well. But, like, I feel like that happens. Doesn't take very long at all. Can you tell me where it starts? Because starting things from town makes me want to pull out my own eyeballs. It's always like, oh, just go to Stormwind. And it's like there's 14,000 different expansions starting things. And they all, like, overlap. Oh, maybe that one. Tides of War. I found it. <laughs> Thank you. Takes about five minutes. All right. I'm finding out. I'm petty and I'm going to set a timer. <laughs> Not to prove you wrong in particular, but just because I want to know... Sometimes in my life, things are like, oh, it'll be easy. Just go grab that. It only takes a couple minutes. And then it turns into like a mess. So I want to find out, does five minutes actually mean five minutes? Um, or, or what? So they're going to have to talk this through. At some point, there's going to be a skip, I think. <laughs> I mean, 50. <sighs> um, Heart of the Aspects change. It's not huge and derpy. I mean, it's still huge and a little derpy, but they did re-rig it. So it's on a totally new skeleton now. It comes with it? Okay. Your hair matches your man. That's true. That's true. Hi, sweetheart. Five minutes means five hours. <sighs> um, I'm tempted. I'm specifically wanting to do it on Night Flame and then probably later Ripsy so that they can... Ripsy might even have one in her bank. She's an old character. She was doing blacksmithing in BFA. She must have a heart of Azeroth. It's probably just in her bank. Um, but I specifically want to do it on these ones because it seems like they're going to continue farming ICC for a while. So vision, and then we can cancel that. And then we can do that. Lady Jane and Proudmore. Eventually, there's going to be a skip. I can talk to you, but not right here. I have to go to the docks. All right, fine, fine. I'll go to the docks. What are we doing? I'm getting a Heart of Azeroth on Night Flame so that he can just uh, beam... Or Living Flame, or whatever on Earth it was called. Um, Velrithia back to life in ICC. You have to do the solo instance in High Man. 15. <laughs> oh, I was promised five minutes. I'm 147 in. Saw the most fire mog yesterday. Blood Elf female with the Undead Ranger skin. Blood Trill Cloak. Big Bad... Oh, the gun off Big Bad Wolf and Kara. <laughs> That's cool. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning or afternoon or evening. Okay, so you... I've skipped this. Take me to Borellis. Didn't they send you to go get your Heart of Azeroth, like, before all of this? Or do you go to Borellis and then you get your Heart of Azeroth? 
Because this is like the tour to like settle me into Borellis. I feel like I've skipped something. <laughs> you go to Borellis and then get the Heart of Azeroth. All right. And then they want me to go to the bank. I did always love that this guy's really bored. <laughs> I thought that was fair. We have to get the champion speeches first. That feeling when you get fiber upgrade from cable. Nice. <sighs> if my life goes perfectly, I will never have to downgrade from fiber. <laughs> I've had it, I've made a point to find the places that were fiber capable and uh, and I've gotten real used to it. It's quite nice. Gets to look at everyone's cool stuff. Good afternoon. What's today's plan? Good afternoon. I'm transmog farming. This is a mild detour where I'm finding out how long it's going to take me to get a Heart of Azeroth with a healing power on my Demon Hunter with the intent of um, healing up Velrithia with it instead of with my bandages, because the bandages, especially on Heroic, are really annoying. On Normal, it's fine. Um, on Normal, I can just bandage, bandage her up in, like, one go. But 10-man uh, Heroic was no was no good. Okay. I did this a lot back in the day. He's gonna have to talk to me too. Dwarf by the inn? I'm gonna finish this just in case it's necessary so I don't have to backtrack if it turns out that I needed to do this part first. If Nightflame ever wants to port directly to, um, if Nightflame ever wants to port directly to Zeldazar, he'll need to do this anyway, there's Andalar. Or Zoldas are. Um, he'll need to do this anyways to unlock the boat teleports. I it was funny. I was doing. I was taking one of my characters, Crinkle, through Motherload. Um, I was helping Flabby get a piece for a speed set, but I was also farming Transmog. And I was like, okay, how do I get out there? And I like went to the boat and I had no teleports unlocked. And I'm like, nope. So I went back to Veldrak and I took the Nazmir portal that takes you to like Underrodish, and then I flew all the way from there because I could not be bothered to come back and do these quests. <laughs> <sighs> One more minute. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, your fiber got cheaper. Uh, yeah, you can do Mother Lotus Alliance. Um, those dungeons are those dungeons are not faction specific. Oh, BFA dungeons have all kinds of mog. They have kind of cool mog too. I like the I like the troll themed stuff. Motherload's also a really funny dungeon to do with voice acting on. I didn't realize how how good all of the um, <laughs> I didn't realize how good all of the <sighs> the the voice lines were. They're funny. Someone also said this is optional, so your timing may not be correct. Yeah. Well, my timing is correct for I will break something. <laughs> This kind of stuff upsets me so much because every time I try and skip something, it's like, oh no, you didn't do that thing. You should go back and do the thing. And then when I do the thing, it's like, no, I think you can skip that. You're wasting time. There's, I like, if you magically knew all of the things that are and are not required, it just feels so unreasonable. <laughs> um, and I know nobody's taking this very seriously, but it still makes my um, intestine braid itself. I am, okay, so there's that. And then that fairy pass, fine. That I don't need to do. That's like actual story. This, um, yeah. And then I'm pretty sure we can just like say hello and that won't matter. Let's, so we've done, we've got come sail away. So we've done the Kul'Tiris introduction. Out of curiosity, if I go and I grab this, the Andalar campaign, yeah. Just so that I can get places in the future. I don't have to actually do the quest. Um, you just have to have it and then they'll teleport you out there. <sighs> Band uh, bandages are annoying on heroic. It takes a long time. Um, you have to wait the cooldown out a couple times. Cupid conundrum, echo of time, scouting map, steel spark. Can I just go? 
I feel like that's not the move. Twilight Geolords, no. Cause I don't think I have to do any, I, I did the intro. They wouldn't just send me off into space without. Sure, give me, give me, give me one of these. They wouldn't just send me off without giving me a Heart of Azeroth, right? Yeah, no, I don't, this is too much. We don't need that. <laughs> I did talk to Cyrus and I got the fairy pass. Get a Heart of Azeroth. It'll be easy. It'll take five minutes. Um, I swear you used to go to Silithus first. But I might, I must be misremembering something. You should see Magni somewhere. I haven't seen him anywhere. I thought maybe by the portal room, maybe in the inn, maybe down there. Um, he's not, he, he, he wouldn't be on the boat. You'd think it would be like one of those big notable quests. You're not Magni. You're not Magni. You're Kelsey Steelspark. Maybe over here? No, that's the scrapper. <sighs> He'll usually hang out by the inn. All right. Take the quest and you get the pop-up. Take which quest? Here's the inn. There's nobody in here. Yeah, there is no dwarf here in Borellis. <laughs> I had a weird feeling this would happen. It's not marked with orange anywhere in the map. This is my map. <sighs> nope. Here, I'll relog, just for science sake. I did select somewhere to start questing in Kul Tiris. I've selected that I should start questing in Tear Guard Sound. I've done that. I am right here by the turtle. I don't see him anywhere. Turn to the right. This guy, here's an Earthen Guardian. He has no quest for me. Here, I'll abandon the Dragonflight quests. If that's what does it, I'm angry. If that is what does it. That's ridiculous. I'm in Boralus. It shouldn't have anything to do with it. All right, we got the quest. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is why I hate doing stuff like this. It's, people say it's easy, and it was easy, you know, years ago when it was current, and none of it's easy anymore. <laughs> mm. It's always more complicated than it's supposed to be. Every single time. All right, give me my Heart of Azeroth. And then I'm gonna have to get it charged up. I think I lost my stopwatch because I reloaded with uh, the thing. I will heal that dragon. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Oh, you sound like me at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What does Azeroth want of me, Meg? Kitty, it's okay. I'm not really mad. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have a heart of Azeroth. Equip Awakening Latent Powers. I believe I do need to get the first power set up for it, which takes a takes a little bit of doing. <laughs> you are at work. <sighs> I'm also going to disagree with Easy. <sighs> yeah. Why are we doing a BFA campaign quest? <laughs> to get a heart of Azeroth to heal Valrithia with so I don't have to bother with bandages on Heroic where they get interrupted. Finish the intro to Nagitar questline, you'll boost your heart to 50. Takes about 15 minutes. 
Ah, <laughs> simple one in Legion. Yeah, I remember the Neltharian Slayer intro. It took a little bit of time, but maybe now that I'm level 70, I can just one-shot everything. Surely all these quests are going to increase your percentage? I don't think so. Uh, I did use a heavy frost weave after the first cooldown. It's still, I still had to use a couple of cooldowns. I have heavy frost weaves on me, I promise. <sighs> yeah, I have all these collected already. Okay. Now what do you want me to do? Is he gonna give me another quest to, to, is he gonna give me another quest to, um, go get, like, my power for it? Or is that just, like, oh, here, let's, let's go upstairs and see if he's got anything. Um, I was told the frost weaves won't break on damage. I don't know if that was my experience. Maybe they didn't break on damage, but it still took a couple of rounds of them to get her healed all the way up. Alright, well, let's go do the intro to Najatar, then. <laughs> My kitty. My kitty's cuddling on my lap. She's very cute. Did ATT random? Got Mount Hydral Raid. I quit! <laughs> oh no! You can do it! Don't let it win. Um, so... The Najatar intro... <laughs> oh my god. The Najatar intro was like... I don't remember. I don't remember. The Spangin' Helm, thankfully, we got. We're after Unrelenting Blood, which, oddly enough, isn't even from Velrithia. It's just because I need other stuff from, like, Lich King and stuff. No, I can I can skip her. It's because I need skin to help shoulder guards. I'm being ridiculous. This is so a huge waste of time. I'm being... I'm stubborn now, though. I don't remember how to do the Nagatari intro. Um... I wonder if I need to listen to his plan. I might need to listen to his plan first. Send the fleet. Okay. Send the fleet. I found send the fleet. Sorry, I'm never gonna finish listening to your plan. <laughs> Speak to Harbor Master Cyrus. Harbor Master Cyrus. Is he on the boat to set sail? Oh no, he's not on the boat. He's like fully off the boat. <laughs> there we go. Only five days away from getting the crab achievement in Nashadar. What a grind. <sighs> um, here, I'll show you my all the things settings. Options, add-ons, all the things. So, we're doing account mode, but we are not doing all sources. So much stuff to do. Tried a little bit of leech in the steam stone. I'm not getting... I'm not getting... I won't. I haven't. I won't do it. <laughs> it might work. I don't care. Um, the last thing this guy needs is to go to the Scarab Vaults. <laughs> There's something that takes just five minutes. Oh... But Hazel, you can mail yourself your keys. Mm. <laughs> we call him Cyrus the Virus. Doesn't like that name, but we tease him a lot. Oh, Osiris IRL. For a moment, I thought that you were, um, for a moment, I thought you meant Cyrus Crestfall, and I'm like, that's a strange thing to say to an NPC. Okay. So when we say Nashner intro, we really mean it, huh? Watch Night Flynn pick up the Old God's book at his first vault opening. Okay. I'm, ki I'm a little offended that I didn't just one-shot that nine PC. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should have done. I suppose it's BFA, it's not, you know, Legion. I also want me to click on the blue things. I did do this a great deal of times in my life. Just not a night flame. Night flame's too new. Maybe if your swords were a little less wobbly. <laughs> do you mean that you are doubting the cutting power of this of the wiggly spine? <laughs> 
whatever would give you the impression that that might not be an effective tool for slicing things. Jinx, thank you very much for the 40 month resub. Hi Hazel, haven't been here in a bit. Hope all is well. Hello. Things are doing good. Glad to have you here. <sighs> what have we been up to? I've gotten really into transmog collecting. Um, and I sometimes take elaborate side quests in the name of transmog collecting. I... <laughs> I feel like I'm visiting with, um, like, a relative that I haven't seen in a year or so, and I'm trying to think of, like, what I've done in my life that I can, like, give them as, like, the, the small talk. Oh, Zenith did used to be really valuable. It's probably not valuable anymore. But I used to get really excited whenever I saw that. What does that go for? Yeah, 10 gold still. That's not bad. Especially if I can sell it. We're looking for one more of these guys. <laughs> yeah. Still is. Shermog did impact how well you're doing damage. <laughs> okay. This used to be really tough to do on fresh alts because they would get like really big upgrades for doing it. But the mobs were also scaled to like mid expansion damage. So I, I used to really like struggle through the uh, the enemies you had to fight just to do this little quest line. Cause I would try to do it on characters that were like really, real fresh, you know, 120s or whatever it was at the time, something ridiculous. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> Good thing is we now know that sticking to bandages is more efficient for ICC reclears. The thing about this is it's a one time investment that will make me Presumably, if I, honestly, if I hit this thing with the Heart of Azeroth power and it does not one-shot her instantly up to Fallen Heroic, I'm going to change my mind for the future. But the, you know, it's a one-time investment. That means that every time you go through it, you'll save time. So it's just a question of when, you're, when your balance pays out. Thank goodness heirlooms have got up. Boss on the platform was brutal back then. And at least you can skip all the cutscenes. Osmanite deposit. This was an awesome zone. I loved this patch. <laughs> I had a great time in 8.2. It doesn't feel like that long ago. 8.2 feels like yesterday. All right. Very interested now in whether it'll one-shot the boss or not, right? <laughs> mm. Maybe I'll go for that first tick of the Wildercloth bandage and then- well, no, I'll have to try the one-shot and just find out if it works. But if not, you can get a pretty good chunk from your first tick of Wildercloth before it gets interrupted. And now Magni should just run on in here. Maybe after we get the portal set up? <laughs> well, if I ever want to farm Najatar stuff, then then I will have, uh, you know, this unlocked. Oh, good. <laughs> Soundless. Fabius. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's like mogs I didn't get from the Mardivas laboratory. I didn't know that. I knew I was doing that for the um, for the meta achievement. Because I have the meta achievement for this zone. Rares. I need uh, world boss stuff too. Should I just go kill the world boss while I'm out here? <laughs> I feel like the answer is yes. <laughs> oh no, she's getting distracted by Naz ADD. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, this add-on is all the things. I refuse to farm Soundless. Soundless is another thing that I have firmly placed in the category of later, later me mogs. And then there's Magni. And you are going to upgrade my Heart of Azeroth. He's going to catch it right up for me. I don't know if the level was all that important. I still don't think I've unlocked the power for it. <laughs> oh, all right, we're going to sell this. Stuff you need to summon the rare, super cheap. I forget. World boss here still packs a punch. Oh. Finally tested negative for COVID after seven days. Congrats, Katie. You get the first, yeah, with the Legion scenario thing. I just don't remember how to start it. I was kind of thinking they would shoehorn me into it by now and they haven't done so and I'm getting concerned. <laughs> Oh. I'm wondering if it's because I'm holding the Shadowlands intro quest. <laughs> oh, 
Maybe it's this. This seems familiar. Hello, what have you discovered? Tell our champion what you've found, mother. Speak beneath the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to travel to Hymen. Why wouldn't it give me that before? <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't have- maybe I needed to level the thing up? No, that can't be right. I don't know. Okay. However it worked out, we're here. <laughs> Just five minutes. I'm ready to go. Send me in. Recently did this in a druid to get a speed set on it. Should remember, honestly don't. <sighs> Fishore is sealed. At least I one shot mostly. At least I'm pretty strong against the mobs. That's nice. <laughs> this used to take a little, like a little bit of doing. It shouldn't be too bad now. I'm getting this heart of Azeroth. I mean, I have it. I'm gonna <laughs> get it to a point where it can. Oh, those bubbles! The Azeroth power bubbles. I forgot about those. Those were so satisfying. <laughs> What were, what were those mostly in? Island expeditions? You would like run over them or something? I'm forgetting. What are you trying to do? I'm losing track. Something, something, Valrithia, Dreamwalker, something, Heart of Azeroth, something, Bandages, Break. <laughs> Heroic. Transmog. I'm trying to do transmog. It's a, we've gotten a little off track. We're almost there. This is my Demon Hunter alt that's never done anything in his life. Heart of Azeroth to level three. Azeroth, you're expecting to speed? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, something, something, five minutes. Hi. All right. I'm gonna kill this guy with metamorphosis and all the rest of my buttons. Dad keeps doing more and more tasks just to fix a light bulb. <laughs> Insta upgrades the heart? I hope so. <laughs> Whoops. I got my eye beam kicked. Give scale. Give. Thank you. And then you. No, not you. Him. He'll get me out of here. I feel like he used to be able to just leave the instance too. Save all of eight seconds that it takes running up the hill. Met in the spirit chamber of the heart. Will you take me back to the chamber of the heart? Or are you just going to take me back to High Mountain? <laughs> I don't think High Mountain's going to do me any good. No, no, that's no good. Oh, I remember this, and it used to chuck you out here, and then you had to get all the way back all by yourself. That was annoying. Okay, Stormwind. I would get him a teleport cloak, but he's not actually part of the guild. <laughs> Hi, Hazel Games Nutty. What's up, Scarlet? How are you doing? It's so rude of them not port you back. And then Varelis, and then Silithus. <laughs> I don't think he has any other way to get back. I guess he can do Legion to Stormwind. To, <laughs> to Ice Crown. Uh, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm doing great. 25 minutes into this journey. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess it's technically true that it's only five minutes to get a Heart of Azeroth. <laughs> Getting it to do the thing apparently was a different consideration. And then we go back to this one. I need that appearance. <laughs> I need to get my, my rep up. I 
again. Heartforge. Okay. Please. <laughs> when this first came out, it was exciting. You know, every step felt cool. I was, I had all the time in the world for it then. Do we also get to go to Mechacon? <laughs> I mean, eventually for Rustfeather. Maybe getting all the setup will make it easier somehow and in some way to get him out to Mechagon for Rustfeather. Defeating Algalon. Oh yeah, that's a tough pet battle. That's one of the, that's one of the harder ones that they did. Okay. Heartforge. Petrified Egg. Crucible of Flame. At least it's the first one. If it wasn't the first one, I never would have done it. I never would have done it. <sighs> Okay, I think we're allowed to leave now. I think we're allowed to kill all these. I'm just gonna untrack them in case I need them later. Alrighty, we need to go to ICC. I have a button, it's a 30 second cooldown, and it does 1290 healing. That doesn't seem like very much. Would my... Is my Heart of Azeroth not upgraded? No, it's level 50, it's level 50, okay. How much health does Walruthia have? Oh, this is the wrong color run. <laughs> yeah, no, Mechagon is just there, but Alliance can get... Oh no, Horde gets a teleport to it. Alliance has to fly. Is that right? I think that might be right. <laughs> hmm? It's okay. This is, this is definitely going to prove to be super, super, super worth it. Super duper worth it. The most worth it. <laughs> and if not, then we learn something. We should riot. Oh, I don't know. Rioting sounds like it's going to get in the way of my afternoon naps. <laughs> Thursday's no good for me. How's Saturday? Mm. Mm. This way. Wisdom teeth coming in. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't forget to increase the level of the essence. How? I don't remember that in any way whatsoever. What do you mean increase the level of the essence? I don't mean to be rude, I'm sorry, that came off a little harsh. Um, that sounds useful and I genuinely don't know how. Or I don't remember how. I swear I played this expansion. It's rank 1, next rank dragon aspects, heart level 54. I think without grinding Azerite power, yeah, you would need to... I think this is as good as it's going to get without grinding Azerite power. Yeah, 54 and 60. Yeah, I don't have those. I'm drawing the line at Azerite, Azerite daily. Just grind the AP. I will. Oh, turn this car around. What's the goal for today on WoW? I'm trying to get a pair of leather leggings from 10-man heroic ICC. And I'd also like to be able to kill Velrithia for some shoulders. And I want to do it on different characters. And, um, and now I have multiple ways to go about it. <laughs> <sighs> Farm for the cloak on some else for Nihilothamog. Mm. Yeah, I bet you eventually that'll be the thing. At least I still have my BFA, like, main. I may not- oh, I, this is the wrong difficulty. Clear a quest, take it to the Chamber of the Heart. I don't think there's any world in which I can do that in a reasonable frame of time. Just based on my life experience. I'm going to turn this on to Ray Difficulty, Heroic, uh, and Ten Man, yeah. Because it says when I look at it that the next level for that thing is at 54. It says the next rank is Heart level 54, and there's a Quest Giver. Because it will, it will add more powers. Anyways, <laughs> transmog. What do we need in here that's that's still currently available that I can do on this particular character? Um, here I'm in. I'm stuck in combat. There we go. Um, Marigar has two weapons. Wow, really, not that many things anymore. 
This guy cannot get anything from Lich King, actually. Velrithia is the last boss that has loot for him. So once he's done Velrithia, <laughs> which we must do because of all of what we went through in order to get there. Once we've done Velrithia, we can leave and we can find something else to farm. Yeah, maybe this will help us get something else later on. I'm sure he's my only demon hunter. So if there's any demon hunter specific mog from BFA that might need him to have done those intro quests, it'll be, it'll come in handy later. It's definitely not wasted effort. Um, I used it for damage on him and it took the boss down to about half. At least it's only a 30 second cooldown though. It might not one shot at this particular level, but it might be better than nothing. <sighs> Wish recipes were account wide when you learn them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That really sucks. Wild of the Sands was a tough one. She could have um, a chest guard. So our fan can have those specific legs that we're still looking for. Yeah, this is a very minor amount of... Um, I'm making a point to use the Heart of Hazrath now that I have it. I got Concentrated Flame and by golly, I'm going to use it. Ugh. I'm surprised by how, how little things I still have left from this. This character's got 35 of the 42 things that he could wear from this. And then 32 of the 38 he could have from 10 player. I've just got a lot of leather. It's because I've, I've been given quite a bit of leather. I think male would be a very different, different situation in here. Yeah, I believe I'm only tracking things that are possible to achieve because I like myself. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't see any reason to beat myself up for things that I couldn't possibly get. Uh, character specific is a toggle that you can do in your settings, but you can also in your keybinds. Jeff taught me this recently. In your key bindings, you can go into the all the things section and you can set a specific keybind to toggle account mode on and off, which I actually really like having so I can... Generally speaking, check account mode, but I can toggle it down to character specific if I just want like to see what's actually possible within a given run on one character. I also set up keybinds for main list, mini list, and random um, to be able to pull those up really quickly. Looking forward to early. Didn't know where it was in settings. <laughs> Yeah, I, I used to not see the point because I was like, well, you're either collecting character specific or account mode, but sometimes you're collecting account mode, but then it there's no point in, it was just kind of annoying seeing everything within a given instance run when there was only so many things that it could drop. So I like being able to swap it back and forth. <sighs> I only just set up a keybind for all the things main list and uh, random today. I didn't have those before, but I've enjoyed my other all the things keybind so much that I figured I should get some more. Tracking some stuff, holding out hope they put into a Twitch drop BMR trading post. That's fair. That's reasonable. You're braver than me. Bonfires and treat buckets. Just shows those. Um, there's a setting that talks about holiday loot that might be helpful for you. Nice to hot swap on the fly. Yeah. I found that I can't hot swap in combat. Um, I don't know if that's universally true or if it's just a me thing, but it seems like I have to be out of combat in order to check. We're hoping for legs from this guy. This is what all the things random has me chasing is these specific 10 man heroic leather legs. <laughs> they haven't dropped yet. And I think we've done, we have one, two, three, four, five. This is, I think my 10th run at them um, because it's two weeks of farming and I have five leather wearing characters that have been doing this. Yeah, I heard they were doing some stuff to Hallows then and PTR. I think I'm gonna, I've been kind of tuned out of it. I think my idea is that when it actually comes out and is live, I'll take a look at it then. Um, because it seems like they're adding a hard mode or just like, like a person, like an individual hard mode for the, the Headless Horseman that like you could enable. But what I want to know is why. <laughs> What'll it give me that will bribe me to do such a thing? Uh, the command for ATT random again? Uh, slash ATT random, yeah. You can, with or without the space, will work. You can also set a keybind for it if you like. Although, I don't know. I don't know about needing it. <laughs> needing to pull it up often enough to justify a keybind. All right, Deathbringer. If you could give me some legs, I would really appreciate it. 
Could I just go straight to Velrithia? I always do the the plague halls, but I, I feel like I could just run right and then go straight to Velrithia for the, sh the shoulders. Because I don't need the rest of the bosses in this character. Passive gold? Drake races called today. Passive gold's hard. There's no like mission table like there was before. Drake races and gold world quests are good. Um, it's not passive gold, but some people will use a lot of alts to do... Oh, that scared me. I thought I got it. No, I got my mind and my money. <laughs> uh, this guy looted apparently 200,000 gold. I don't believe it. it. Doesn't sound right. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just hang right then, and because uh, we don't need anything from these guys, so this will save some time. Hello, how you doing? Hmm. I'm really curious to see what the healing situation's like on here. If I look at her and I look at her health. This will do 1290. Unupgraded, it will do 1290 healing. The Band-Aid is supposed to do 6346, but over 8 seconds, and it definitely, on Heroic, will get interrupted after a tick. This one is 1600 over 8 seconds, but I've needed two full cooldowns worth of those. So I'm assuming that I will need to combine my different methods here. I think that's the case. I don't, I don't think... I don't think I have enough with an unupgraded Heart of Azeroth, mind you. If I had raised my heart level higher and upgraded that power more, which I may eventually do. Um, although, well, here, let me look at, let me look at the 25 mans. Uh, there's Bracers, 25 man Heroic. There are Bracers. So there are things, but I can get them on, I, like I have Druids and I can farm them on Druids. It doesn't have to be on this character. It's just for the sake of having more chances in a week. I think this is kind of... I think this... <laughs> I think the Valrithia question is kind of a waste of time. <sighs> Maybe it would matter more if there was a weapon that she dropped here. Let's turn on account mode. What all could Valrithia drop that I don't have? All, all in, all included. Valrithia has... Plate. She has plate shoulders. Leather shoulders. Plate. Mail. Legs. So there's no weapons. So all of this I could farm on classes that have off deals. I could take a paladin for the plate. I could take a shaman for the male or an evoker. And that would be fine. Okay, so I'm going to start. She has, she is 50% of 875k, but there might be some kind of a, I don't know. I'm just going to start with them. Um, I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to start with the wilder cloth bandage and I'm going to get as much as I can with that. Oh, that's funny. The Wildercloth Bandit did it all by itself. I swear it didn't do that last week. I think... <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> any any shoulders for me? Nope. Okie dokie. I swear I did that exact same thing last week and didn't have that result. Oh, well. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm logging out, actually. Both of my Hearthstones are on cooldown. I gotta walk. I gotta walk. Beer beep. <laughs>
Um, I didn't raid in Miss of Pandaria. I played the whole expansion and I spent the entire thing leveling alts, doing pet battles and farming. <sighs> but, you know, I'll have a map. I'll have gumption. What else do what else does somebody really need? Which one of these things takes me to Pandaria? Uh, Oribos, Asuna, Storm Shield, Well Dragon, not there. Oh, I should make sure that I have this here. Let's make a new spec. Because I'm pretty sure this is just a star build. New loadout. Zoom. And we're going to make sure that we have all of the different speed talents. So this is just for farming old content. We wanna we wanna get like the Yeah, the movement speeds. And then the cat form movement speed as well. We definitely stampeding real cooldown. And then is there anything else? Speed. No, I think that's good. Heart of Fear is easy, easy, and fast. All right. You guys promised. Uh, I did not get the legendary cloak. I didn't do very much LFR either. Um, I <laughs> I promise I played the whole expansion, but I accomplished nothing of note. I started a YouTube channel. There was that. What am I doing? I'm going to... Well, I decided it was this way because it couldn't possibly be the other way. Ah, the panda paw. That would make sense. Uh, yeah, there's a built-in way to save transmogs. You can save them just within the transmog inter interface. You can save your sets. Feral's technically faster. You can move in fire and cat form. Mm. My plan is to swipe. I'm hoping that that's enough for mop. We'll see. <sighs> Uh, can we note that your five minutes of crafting and chat's five minutes of doing anything is roughly the same? Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> Takes me to about 10.30 in the morning. That sounds about right. <sighs> what kind of transmog am I missing from all of this? I mean, not as much as you would think. Dominance offensive vendors. Are these, um... Dominance offensive quartermaster. Horde only, horde only. Yeah. There's the alliance stuff. What is that, a rep? Operation shield wall? Yeah, it's a faction. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I was gonna go do. I mean, I'm probably. I'm sure it would have killed me. I was gonna go do the Najatar world boss on Nightflame. <laughs> there was Transmog. Oh. Pretty sure I knew where I was going. That is rep locked behind dailies. Yeah, it'll be there when you get back. <laughs> Hope you're all having a great day. Hmm. Oh man, world boss loot. Oh, well, we're not in character. World boss loot that this character could use. Hmm. This is uh, account mode. I can't talk with character mode right now. A few things. Red boss loot has to be some of the worst to accomplish. Um, I'm not restoring any characters. I won't do it. I have disabled better wardrobe. It, it was bothering me more than it was helping me, so I turned it off. A lot of the world boss loot shares appearances with PvP sets. Hmm. That's handy. Did a great job making it thematically correct. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's worth for trip. It's a cool add-on. It just was um it was one of the main culprits of the can't use that out of your bags errors. And I found that I wasn't it was nice for Better Wardrobe was also a great way to find things to collect because you could look through all of the sets that weren't technically sets tab sets, but were like questing sets or off-spec lookalike sets, or you know, other class lookalike sets. And uh, and then find, hey, I want to wear this set. You know, this is this looks cool and therefore I want to farm it. As opposed to, here is a thing and therefore I want to farm it. Well, yeah, there's questing mog I need from here too. What is overthrown? Oh, it's a quest, I see. Mm, I might need to reload in order to get um, account mode back on. <sighs> Turn it on and off depending on if I need it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty annoying to do that. You sorted gives me bugs a lot too. 
<sighs> the bugs were mostly what what kind of poison TSM for me. <laughs> I used to be a huge TSM user and I just couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, no, I know it's on. I'm just, uh, usually I can toggle it with a keybind and my keybind's not working at the moment. I think I need to reload. Mm. Oh, I wonder if this character has, a, has an overwritten keybind um, or if my keybind isn't set up for this character. Oh, she doesn't. She... Huh. General key bindings. Thank you. There we go. Watch that ruin my life when I go try to PvP on this character again. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, um, specifically, these this robe is the thing that I'm chasing. The robe of 80 lights. It's kind of a pretty robe. It's a leather robe. Don't worry about my hideous helmet. Uh, it's from Garillon, but there's other stuff that I can get along the way. There's a couple of zone drops that I can keep an eye out for. Um, Grand Empress Shexir. So I guess if I'm looking for zone drops, then I probably want to, I probably would like to, um, just, like, you know, swipe down all the trash. I do appreciate the swipes one-shotting. Big fan of that. <laughs> <sighs> Shouldn't I be on 25, man? Didn't, I figured it would automatically scale it up. You should be required to wear them. <laughs> you roll after you get them. Here, I'll zone out and zone back in. I'll, 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 I'll pop it up just in case. I am 10. I am 30. <laughs> How dare you? <sighs> Raid difficulty. Yeah, no, you're right. I just kind of figured it would adjust. You got to make sure for mop. All right. All right. We were just, we were just trying, having a little extra go around for, for BOEs. <laughs> <sighs> eh, still one shots. Happy with that. Hey, speaking of BOEs. Oh, those are plate, but they're BOEs, so I can send those and uh, I can send those to a plate where, and that's good. I can use those. Perfect. Mop and Kata, except for Firelands. <laughs> How do you people learn all of this? I'm very impressed. I just, I just, I don't, f I feel like I'll never catch up. It feels like I'm in a class and I missed the prerequisite class and everyone's talking at things that are just like one and a half light layers above the, the, the mode that I was at. Trial and error and yelling at the monitor. <sighs> it's like, um, it's like English grammar rules. You've got, or spelling and pronunciation rules. You have all of these rules, and there's more exceptions than there are things that actually follow the rule. Okie dokie. What could I get from Imper Imperial Vizier? He's got some boots. If he li if he's lucky, if I'm lucky and he likes me, he'll give me some boots. It's more like German grammar. It's called running over 30 raids per week. Wisdom of the crowd. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I don't have tier appearances for this raid. Item sets. I don't know why I've ended up in that thing. Mop had some beautiful, beautiful armor, though. Oh, nice. Oh, I've got bonus rolls. Oh, good. I guess I'll save one for Garillon. Um, I did get the boots, and that's one, one problem sorted. This raid has... This raid has how many bosses? Missa Pandaria, Heart of Fear. Oh no, it's like a full two, four, six, seven. I think I would have liked this raid. I like nice sort of seven, seven boss. Seven is a good number. Five's a little low and ten's too many. <sighs> Doesn't look familiar. Now I know what I'm doing in it. There's beautiful sets. There we go. And I don't think any of these fights, I have done a little bit of this. I don't know for what. I don't think any of these fights are like really 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 annoying especially now that you can do a lot of damage to them i do remember this one pushing me around a little bit but that might have been a couple expansions ago <sighs> this this alt is item level 404 when not in pvp steer had three raids hardcore had an eighth uh yeah i think this is the roman corridor boss i'm pretty sure i'm in the corridor itself crucible of storms <laughs> Can't wait until I'm farming that monk. 
<laughs> Sometimes it's fun to go back to a raid that ruined your life and stomp all over it just to be petty <laughs> and to farm transplant. All right. Mm, nothing. Although I don't think I needed anything from him, actually. I need something from... That's Blade Lord Tayak. I need something from... Garalon, Amber Shaper Unsock, and then the Grand Empress. One shining everything, collecting Mogmount's toys, whatever else. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I think I prefer the model of having multiple raids that are smaller than one gigantic raid. Although I like it when they spread them out. <laughs> <sighs> Running this raid with mop. It, during mop with a guild that had horrible people in it ruined the expansion for me. That really sucks. I've, uh, I'm, 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 I w I've been very lucky with the people that I've been blessed to play with, but I've been familiar with having, uh, like an egg in a guild that just kind of ruins it for everybody. It takes a special kind of leader to be able to recognize when they have to do something that might be divisive for the... <laughs> For, for the sake of everybody's enjoyment. All right. Mm. I'm excited I got a BOE already. I need that. Plate bracers. Plate bracers I get to keep. Where'd they go? They're there. Put them, put them in a special separate corner of my bag so I can find them later. Oh yeah, this boss. This was a cool boss. It's, oh yeah, it's Garlon. So Garlon has the, has the robes I need. So I'm going to loot him. I did not get the robes I need. I'm going to bonus roll. I'm going to get gold. Okay. <laughs> but um, there are two more bosses that have loot for me. So is Shexu the last one? Shexu is the last one. So we will full clear. This was the raid when I had to take a force break due to finishing a degree. Mm. Two epic purple BOE snappers yesterday. Hoping someone wants them on the auction house. Nice. I don't think I... I think I'm one of the only people left in my guild that has yet to loot a BOE in Avarice. I've done a fairly high amount of Avarice. Um, I just, oh, I've turned around. I'm going the wrong way. I've done a decent amount of Avarice. I just have not looted any BOEs. People will be getting BOEs and be like, man, these aren't worth anything anymore. And I'm like, mm, at least you have them. <laughs> How do you manage the inventory, boss? Um, with ruthless deleting and a lack of fear of whether or not I'll need something again. <laughs> I'm also not sentimental, so I will as soon as something is no longer of value to me in game, gone. There's no I don't I don't carry thing I well that's not true. I carry a few things around for the memories. I've got a couple of letters and stuff in my banks, but not for the most part. Not so much. Okay, don't need anything from him. Do people that farm transmog from raids generally farm bonus rolls for those raids for the sake of... I think that if I just needed like one or two things left from a raid and I was really doing my best to get it, then I would start worrying about bonus rolls. But when I'm just kind of getting bulk stuff, I feel like I'm not as worried about it. <laughs> you don't have bonus mounts. I have a bonus mount on Inksy. She has a bonus horrid on. She shall keep it forevermore. <sighs> Amber, Shaker, Amber Shaper has leather feet. Just run through the old raid a bajillion times. Normally, I'm team bonus rolls are too annoying to farm. But I do have, like, extras on some of these characters that are left over from when they were farming world boss mounts. And it is kind of nice when you get an extra chance at, like, a specific thing you're looking for. Got four BOEs from LFR. None from any other difficulty. Oh, that's smart to spend them on the last boss. Depends on it. Some can be worth it. Okay. It's probably a personal personal judgment thing too. I'm sure there are people that will farm them for every single boss that they need something from, and there's other people that will uh, that will not do so. Uh, well, I mean, I guess you can't you can't bonus roll every boss. You'd run out of bonus rolls eventually. Are you not dead? What do you need from me? What do you require in order for you to consider your life to be over? Well, you're moving. <laughs> Apparently more. Oh, there we go. There we go. Would you like to give me some boots? Oh, wow. I got three pairs of boots, but they were not the ones I needed. <laughs> uh, what about legs? Nice. To your legs. Love it. Yeah, I will bonus roll the last boss. That's smart. 
I have bonus death Riven Rivendare's death charger in my DK's bank. Yeah, because they're capped. Yeah, that's a good point. I think that um Yeah, for special occasions. Seems like you need to be more specific than boots. That is true. They did give me boots. Shexier has a uh, tear as well as claws, which is a fist weapon. Is it cool? Betcha it's cool. Claws of Shexier. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Like a shaw. Like a shaw situation. And then um, some leather spalders as well. <laughs> Farming a Nixie Monk. I have eight Nixie and Drakes across my whole so Eight! Eight! Holy mackerel. Yeah, this seems like a great raid. Nice and fast. You're right. Now, when, when, <laughs> how do I phrase my question? Okay, so I got some stuff, including, here, no, we bonus roll. Gold, okay. My question is, can I, on this character, zone out and then do this raid on a different difficulty? Or does that not start until later expansions? Well, no, because Legion, no, Legion was after Mott. No? Okay. Is Legion the beginning of that? Because I know that I can full clear Nighthold, for example, like, on every difficulty on one character. Siege is the first. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, that means she can go home. Um, she can go home and we can bring another character out here and try again. Firelands, you can do both because of how it's changed with time walking. ATT tries to tell you this that has check marks by both difficulties. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. Sorry, when, when people were talking about that, I thought they were talking about something to do with shared appearances. I didn't understand. Does LFR count? You can technically do LFR as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. I got more druids. <laughs> If I ever got in-game housing that persisted to cross expansions, what would you want it to do for me? I'd want it to be a place that I could just decorate and then maybe have, like... I basically just want a hearthstone that takes me there with a portal to Stormwind for, like, one extra way to get to Stormwind. But I want it to be just, like, a place that I can decorate. <laughs> I want to be able to display armor sets like we did in the Legion class hall. I want to be able to display stuff like we did in our garrisons. I want them to add new furniture crafting professions. I want to paint the walls. I want to choose the flooring. I want to pick the countertops. I want to renovate. <laughs> okay, so let's send Crinkle. Those bracers. One new piece of transmog. Hey, I'm up 395 gold. <laughs> oh boy. Can I buy anything to transmog for 395 gold? Oh yeah. Orgamar vendors. Oh, I need to take a leatherware to Orgamar. I didn't realize I was missing all that. Okay, let's take a horde leatherware to Orgamar real quick. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Who is horde and leather wearing? Petal Bloom is. I'll take her to Org first and do some shopping, and then I will go to Heart of Fear. You want a house deco game? I want a house deco game, but in WoW. I want Animal Crossing, but in WoW <laughs> is pretty much where I'm at. Hello, would you like to give me some gloves? Nope, 174 tries, didn't think so. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, her hearthstone takes her to Orgar? Yeah. I want my companion pets, hunter pets running amok in my house. I wanna I want a garage where I can park my mounts. <laughs> Or a stable, I guess, would be the nicer way to do it. Um, faction, quests, vendors, aspirant gear, PvP gear. She has 9,000 gold, so she can actually... Man, my space part's getting a little sticky. I cleaned my keyboard yesterday because I thought it might be the cat hair. But I think it's just, uh, it might be just the switches. Um, I guess I have not done this on this character yet. One... And then those will need tokens, which I don't have. Weird. I thought I did do this in this character. Oh, I see. It's t it's showing me all the things that are that are uh, that need 
The diamond means I need a currency piece. Obsidian Arbor Weave covered, though. Firelands Heroic from Gunra. Obsidian Arbor Weave. I don't know, man. I think they still take tokens. Anyways, that's not the vendor I came out here to do. I came out here. Void Finder. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I think I already checked this. Yeah, I need tokens for all this stuff. And those tokens, I think you can just right-click to turn them into gear anyway, so we're not worried about that. However, um, I apparently am missing a bunch of the old starter gear. It's, uh, I always forget that it's different Horde to Alliance, so just because I've done it on Alliance character doesn't mean that I have all the stuff. So there's a couple of different vendors you can go around to buy, um, to buy white quality gear that's like the old character starter gear. And they're pretty neat, they're pretty neat things too. Wow, that chest piece I bought off the vendor was shared with eight different appearances. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hello. Would you like to sell me some war harnesses? Thank you. Shocked I don't have these learned. Absolutely flabbergasted. Okay, and then... Uh, inscription supplies back that way for a plain wooden staff that I can evidently learn. Well, it does say collected. Learn for another item. I'm not too worried about that. Morgrim. Morgrim's over this one. Yeah, every time I think I'm done with the capital city grind, I've... I know that I'm not technically done. I know there's uh, classes that I haven't bought, like their Firelands, Gimme's, yet. Chest, pants, boots. Okay. Excellent, lovely. Some nice stuff here. I could see myself mocking some of these. And then I put my old gear back on. Okay, what else are we saying? Rugok. Did I not go see Rugok? I might have forgotten Rugok. No. I think... I think that's another example of stuff that's gonna need tokens. Uh, the map indicator from the vendor is from all the things. If you go... If you're hovering over a vendor, and you alt right click on that vendor and it will have a list. I'm pointing at my monitor like you can see that. It will, that list of blue text at the bottom of this tooltip will show you your different things that you can do. But alt right click to plot waypoint. It doesn't need TomTom -tom or anything because we've got in game map waypoints now. Um, so I can, if I wanted to find Rugok, I can alt right click him and then I'll have a, a map pin for that. This add on is all the things. And then Rugok is here. I may have forgotten to talk to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some more. I need a few more things. Nice. What? Huh? 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 Cool. Okay. Very good. That will help. Now, let's go do Heart of Fear. Can you create a map pin with a console command? Probably? Yeah, I think so. Because they're, they're copy-pastable. But they're also linkable. There's like a linking function. Forgot we had in-game pins now. I use them a lot. I use them sometimes even when I just kind of want to like, like I'll, I'll know where I'm going, but I'll pin there and I'll track the pin just to give me like the arrow on my mini map. So if I'm flying a long ways, I can do so with the tiniest modicum of my attention. Miss a pin. All right, here we go. Uh, can I mog it is showing the check marks. It makes it much faster to figure out which things that you need. Okay. Unfortunately, this is really far. I'm I'm crazy enough to be tempted to go farm the other raids like uh, Heart of Fear and whatnot. <laughs> Mugishin Palace. <laughs> Just because they're closer. Not Heart of Fear. Terrace of Eternal Spring. Terrace of Endless Spring? Terrace of the... In the Veiled Stair. But no, we're going to Heart of Fear. We're going to preemptively put ourselves onto normal 25 player. That's what I want. Hmm. Oh, look, Shaw of Anger has PvP gear for me. <laughs> Don't 
don't mind me. I'm not doing anything. I'm not getting distracted at all. Might need to turn coordinates on. <laughs> Gonna be farming PvP gear from Wintergrass Bolts forever. Yeah, LFR's nice for that. LFR's super, super nice for that. 73. 73. Yes, I know what's in a cave. The thing you told me. I don't know how you're ever supposed to know whether or not I know something. I was just uh, getting my coordinates set up because the all the things told me where the cave entrance was. I just didn't have a, I didn't have a, a readout of that yet. <sighs> I don't think I've ever looted this one though. Oh, ghost iron, <laughs> squirrel. <sighs> There's a lot of ghost iron in here. Often not up. Oh. <laughs> I got one new transmog. That's my thank you. Once we reach a million channel points, we can do a secret redeem to read your mind while you stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Iron is still going for here. I'll just I'll, I'll list it when I get outside, and we'll see we'll see how much it is. Torn mine enthusiastically. She, uh, she means it. Thor was over here. Yeah, she's putting her back into it. <laughs> All right. Definitely not getting distracted in any way whatsoever. Uh, seven gold per. That's pretty, that's pretty big. That's pretty huge. Um, I could see people farming that on purpose. <laughs> <sighs> All right, heart of fear. Heart of fear. What if it's up? <laughs> Maybe the bars are more. Who's to say? Yeah, it's melting though. Heart of Fear is definitely this way. <laughs> She's approaching critical. I'm guessing they're not like guaranteed spawns. I'm wondering if they have different spawn points. I'll wow head it. Shiny. Stash of Yongle weapons, comments. Got this at 71 comma 62. Watch out for elites. So it's rare. It's really a separate fence that spawns. Separate little fence with weapons glistening away. Okay, so it's not a guaranteed up. It would be presumably somewhere around here-ish. We're gonna we're gonna fly away. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fly away. <laughs> we're moving on. <sighs> we're gonna get in the sky golem on an engineer I have parked in mop. Mm. Sandalari Warbringer apparently has a mace. Not the coolest one, though. It's alright. And then, of course, there's a PvP stuff. I can't believe- oh, it's weapon arsenals. I was thinking- you'd think that Druid would be the one class that I actually have, like, a substantial amount of PvP mug on. But not weapons. Man, arsenals take a lot of- a lot of marks, but they give you a lot of appearances. 
wrists, weapons, 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 yeah. That must be the real bane of transmog collectors, is uh, the marks of honor, the PvP stuff. Done all the wad treasures. Notice how many different class mogs you can just pick up but aren't BOE. Um, I feel like I haven't. I'm probably missing specific... Because I wasn't... I don't even think I was mod collecting back then. Let alone mod collecting a multiple armor type. So I bet there's a bunch of, a bunch of easy ones. <laughs> I can now camp outdoors to kill a rare over and over. They had bank tabs full of vicious saddles. Marks nothing to spend them on. Personal best is 1,067 marks in one comp stomp week. Fun to farm when comp stomps up. You're basically fighting AI bots. Uh, okay. Oh, that one day might become important. That's a lot of marks. That's pretty good. You can buy them with honor. Yeah, there will be some people that are mod collectors that don't generally PvP though, so they might not have honor just by default. Should get into comp stomp. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's every collector, but I would say it's a pretty a pretty chunky subset of collectors that would prefer to avoid PvP if possible. Mod collector does not PvP, it's not for me. Yeah. They're very different activities, so the overlap's not gonna be huge. The appearances are cool, though. <laughs> it's collecting kind of like PvP with D4A. That sounds it seems more like PvE when you're 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 on a leaderboard. You're fighting the machine, but you're trying to fight the machine harder than everybody else does. <laughs> Raid difficulty. Normal 25 player. Very good. Okie dokie. What are we after? Same zone drops. We are on 25 men this time, so there's progress. Still looking for the robe from Garillon. That's the, the all the things random that brought me in here in the first place. But I wouldn't say no to that fist weapon off of Shexir. <laughs> I wouldn't disagree. Am I getting lots of gold? Yeah, here and there. <laughs> some amount of gold. You need it when it starts, when you start buying transmog off of vendors. There's some reputations that have transmog on the vendors, but because it was originally like usable gear, they'll want like a thousand or <laughs> like multiple thousands of gold per piece. And uh, it adds up if you're trying to do it on a lot of different characters. I got a leather working pattern. It's a BOE, or the pattern is, is the pattern sellable? Sometimes patterns are BOP. No, I think it's just sellable. I haven't collected the appearance for the robe that it's crafted. <laughs> just wait until I get into collecting crafted mugs and I start setting up professions and farming the recipes on a million characters. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> get ready for spreadsheets and for a lot of me wandering around town being like, how do I get this material? So this guy's got nothing for me. Am I actually in resto? I'm in resto. I'm gonna switch to balance just because <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> I think so too. Oh dear lord. Okay. Um, edit mode. Give me my UI back, please. Thank you. And then some talents. I kind of wish I could share talents between um between characters, so I could just grab that. I mean, I guess I could actually have an import. I could just have a code saved to a little file on my computer. So that's basically all I want to do. TSM's helpful for that. Trying to finish the classic blacksmithing appearances I'm missing. You won't get to that stage because you'll be obsessed with something else. Yeah, I, I feel like there, it'll be a long time before I've run out of things to do. 360, nice. She has lots of bonus rolls. Nothing from this guy. If I change it to everything, 
What am I mostly missing? Mail and plate. I'm largely missing mail and plate from raids like this. I could take Crinkle. I could take Crinkle through here and just clean up. If there's any character that needs a speed set before everybody else, it's probably Crinkle, just because she's going to end up doing a lot of farming for the sake of um, various weapons and then also being one of my only plate wearers. I don't even have a Death Knight leveled up. You good? Got lucky in Legion, used my ult to do the Mark of Honor mission table quests. Oh, nice. Way to save key and click bindings between different tunes, but at the same class. Yeah, I do have Anthus. Anthus, I think, is going to be vital when it comes to farming plate off of Elrithia. I must have missed some trash. There must be some stealth trash somewhere that I need. Because he's not RPing, but I'm definitely... Oh, you know what? I missed him. I missed these. I have to do the alcoves. I have forgot to do the alcoves. Yeah, any more speed items. Druids feel nice and fast even without him. Even... And I mean, I'm, I'm saying that now. <laughs> Obviously, once I get his speed set again, I'm going to be like, I feel like I'm walking through mud, but... Are you good? Okay, now he's good. I just missed that one. Garillon. Garillon's worth a bonus roll, because that's the pizza I'm looking for. I'll bonus roll Garillon and Shexir. Come back here for a few days, you've given me the ATT bug again. <laughs> Sweet Druids are so much fun. How do you make a speed set? What's the Discord that has the spreadsheets about those? There's a Discord out there somewhere that has a lot of really great information about which items to seek. Um, like gear lists for what will give you the most speed. It also is useful to use consumables like uh, the bone bonefish? There's like a food you can eat, and then there's um, alacrity files that give you more speed as well. But a lot of it has to do with getting getting Heart of Azeroth pieces that have the long strider trait. I don't remember the name though off the top of my head of the Discord that has the the set the lists for speed sets. I don't know if it's part of the if, I don't know if it would be part of time walking or part of the um, all the things. Right, Flabby is my go-to resource info for all of that stuff. Wow, head guide. Mm. Yeah. I did. I did do a video about making a speed set for my druid, but um, they with a lot of that old speed set gear got um, kind of damaged with the squish, so it needs to be farmed again. And I think maybe sometimes the best things are a little different. Oh, I got the robe I was looking for. Nice. That was the thing that ATT Random had me after. No more Robe of 80 Lights from Heart of Fear. <laughs> Still looking for those leather pants. So I can save my bonus roll here. We'll definitely finish the rest of this raid though. So that we can um, try bonus roll for maybe one of these things. Enchant, yeah. Follow the YouTube guide? I should find the Discord. Speed sets make a huge difference. Speed sets can allow you to run at basically mount speed indoors. Um, outside of your speed cooldowns. It, they're they're massive. Uh, one thing to note, though, is when you're wearing speed gear, you're obviously not wearing your endgame gear, so it's not going to do you a lot of good if you're trying to farm like a BFA raid or something where you actually need the damage. It's more so you're, you know, you're running Wrath raids and Legion raids and Mop raids and, and BC and Classic raids. You know, you're trying to get through Molten Core in a hurry. That's when you're going to want to wear it. <sighs> One ninety-two percent. Add a blades for two hundred and twenty percent. Uh, does the stat speed make you run faster? Yes, yes, it does. There's a dragonflight file that can be used on any character sixty-one or higher, called the charged file of alacrity, and that gives you, I think, seven hundred and ninety-two speed. So that's an essential item to have in the toolkit of any speed set runner. Yeah, anything over 200% and I consider myself to have done very well. <laughs> I usually, when making sets like that, I instead of trying to make it perfect, I try and find the, the, the spot of diminishing returns. It's like, what is the median amount of effort that will get me a pretty good set where it would take me a lot more effort to make it any better? You know, where's the, where's the diminishing returns drop off? And I usually aim for that point because you can really spend your whole life making some of these things perfect. 
Um, some of the things are more trouble than it's worth, or at least it used to be. I haven't looked at it recently because I don't have any any current speed sets. Flabby's been bugging me to do it, and he's right. But but I can farm things right now. <laughs> oh, I got bracers, but I have those collected already. But I can probably post them to sell. Maybe not for a lot, but I can, but I can get a little bit for them. Okay, you could drop me some treads of deadly secretions, please. Once, uh, once we finish doing the little phasey thing. I'm surprised, Hazel. Only has a little over all the things in WoW. If you would have asked me to guess, I would have said 75%. I think for all armor types, it's still quite a few things. I have over 50,000 things collected. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's just a lot. Okay. Treads of Deadly Secretions? Yes! Precisely. Excellent. That was exactly what I needed. Also... Tear legs. Although I think I got those just in this in this most recent last run. Yeah, I think I'll eventually want a 61 Druid Warrior. Mm, I guess. And then, I don't know, I don't know about clothies. I might just suffer on my clothies. <laughs> Cloth is also the one um, armor type that I thankfully have the most mog collected for already. Because that's the one that I, that I used to farm for. I used to only care about cloth mogs, so I would run raids with the intent of farming cloth. Yeah, 61 is the lowest, is high enough level to use the, um, high enough level to use the file of alacrity. But it's a low enough level to use something else. Oh, I forgot these ones over here. Pardon me. <laughs> there we go. So she could give me a fist weapon or shoulders. I would like both, please. <laughs> I'm feeling greedy. <laughs> she gave me the fist weapon. Nice. I'm going to bonus roll for the shoulders. I got gold. Uh, chest token, not for me, but... Here's a weapon that I now have. <laughs> you could do kind of a cool Shaw themed transmug, I bet. Although I feel like it needs more fingers. It's just like too, 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 too. neat. All right. So now the real question, I'm gonna take this character back to Foreman Thistle Nettle where she belongs. The real question is, do I want to just start running Old Rage or do I want to chase a new all the things random? Because uh, I am technically ready to roll another random item to collect. But, you know, I don't have to. I could just go start running Molten Core. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to refund any of that. Um, roll a random, then decide. That's true, actually. I can roll a random and then find out if, it, if, it's, uh, if it's awful or not. Oh, I really hope I randomly get a piece that's like mail or plate is the thing because I have a fair amount of cloth and an increasing amount of leather. Oh, that's funny also. I got a petrified shin bone that rolled epic. I didn't know they could do that. I've had so many of those. I finally got one that <laughs> decided it was going to be epic. Yeah, I have a fair amount of cloth and an increasing amount of leather, but I still am really um, low on mail and plate. So it would be nice if it gave me a mail or a plate thing so that I could use different characters and get some other stuff. Do a random hope with Molten Core. I think Molten Core is actually one of the more annoying raids to farm because the tier items drop as individuals. So like, it's not in the token system yet. You have to get your specific classes item to drop in order to learn it. And if you want to get all of the different um, class sets, then you are in for a project. Oh boy. Take the opportunity to clear out her bags a little bit while she's... Uh... While she's in town. Uh, these ones, this one, this one. Those ones I'm just going to wait out the timer because I'm lazy. I could delete them, but that would involve clicking my mouse and I'm too... I'm tired. <laughs> I don't wish to. Oh yeah, her copper ore should be worth a couple hundred gold. Her... That should be worth all of 12 gold. Tin? Yeah. Iron. Mm -hmm. Primordial serenite? Yeah, okay. Why not? These are 
I should probably just vendor those. 150 gold, I know. Yeah, 75. Discount. Out of curiosity, is the spawn of Garillon worth anything? Yeah. I guess people don't farm that one that much. Pet journal, Garillon. I have a feeling that the pet sellers on my server are going to find out where I live and start sending threatening emails. <laughs> I guess they don't need to know where I live to send me threatening emails. <laughs> they just have to make it past my spam filter. 500. Thanks. Kitty Cat War, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Buy your pets, relist them. They are welcome to do so. Going back to dead mines. I can't let those one those bracers go. My eight year old kid was trying to type wrench in Minecraft. Accidentally typed wench. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like wench was the type of word that I found particularly saucy at that age, too. <laughs> uh, they could be so annoyed they write actual letters. Yeah, I'm just giving the flippers or the people, you know, affordable pets. How many different items are you chasing at the moment? Technically two. I want the foreman's leather gloves from Foreman Thistlenettle who is a NPC, not you, is an NPC. Do you really not drop anything? Oh, there we go. Uh, that spawns down here. But I've killed him 172 times and he hasn't coughed it up yet, so we're, we're not doing good. <laughs> I also technically, after the uh, leggings of unrelenting blood from 10-man heroic ice crown citadel, but I've run all five of my leather wearing 70s through it, no luck this week, so that's on, the t on hold until next week. So now, um, I guess I'm going to roll another random piece after I kill Foreman Thistlenettle for the 175th time. Some of the old body terms are just great. I particularly like strumpet. Oh. Farming the shin bone from those guys forever? Really? The shin bone? Oh man, I've had about 11 of those. Um, there we go, 175 attempts at the Foreman's gloves. I just... <laughs> I I was I was posting them on the auctions for 15 gold each. I I I I had like they drop I I get probably 3 or 4 a day um just from camping this guy and killing the guys in the area. It seems like a pretty common drop. Not to not to dissuade your uh, your your pain. But RNG very counterintuitive. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I just posted an epic one on the Lightbringer auction house for 150 gold. No, 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 75 gold. That's right. I put it on sale. <laughs> Oh, very special shin bone. <laughs> very good price. Oh yeah, I was gonna do ATD random. I guess I'll log on to um someone first for something. Good day. Good day. Ah, <sighs> all right. You could force it to be plate. Yeah. Eventually, I might get to that point, but right now it feels against against my own arbitrary brain rules. Which uh, are inconsistent and hypocritical, and, and that's just how they are. Alright, so all the things random. I'm gonna roll... Well, hang on. First of all, let me make sure that... Um, let me make sure that my that we're on account mode and not just mail. Alright, there, there's account mode. All the things random. Um, my rules for this... And you can make your own rules for the game. My rule is that I am allowed to hunt lookalike appearances, and I'm allowed to re-roll it if it's a PvP thing, or if I otherwise just don't want to. <laughs> do, 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 do. Huh. There was nothing... Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> main, win main window needs an update. Let's just reload the whole UI. Hmm. Feeling the guard Guardians of Hyjal Exalted Belt. <laughs> oh man, it hasn't given me a rep item yet. It's mostly given me instance instance items. Monster Kush 19, thank you very much for the seven month resub. Hi, Hazel and Chat. It's a sad day today. Doggo passed away last night. Oh, I'm so sorry. Doggo was really lucky to have you. All right, we're going. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, I've been updating the mini list and not the main list. Okay. It picked for me plate from the Architraz from Wrathscryer Sicothrates. <laughs> The Doom Plate Chess Guard from Heroic Architraz. So I suppose there's only so many times we can try it that. <laughs> uh, when you dye your hair pink, don't have very much hair. What do you do with the rest of the dye? Save it for next time. Um, I just use the minimum needed to, to do it, and then I put the rest away so I can redo it. I've actually, um, I, I re-upped my color a couple of days ago because it was, it was fading out to be pretty pale. So I just, I just, uh, topped up the ends a little bit. Didn't take very long. I think it also drops on normal. Can do the eye too while you're there. The eye. Oh, the raid. Let's take Crinkle to BC. Oh yeah, Doom Plate Chest Guard. I need to write down, I need to always write down my thing. It was from Heroic Architraz. Although if it can, if there's a look alike off normal, then we can look into that. Plate. Architraz. Don't mind me at, at the motherload. Oh, don't mind me and my nine big red buttons. <laughs> I was trying to help Flabby get a piece drop for his speed set character. And I was also trying to get a pair of plate gear off of the last boss, and all it would give me was Razdunk's big red button. Each one of these is a separate mother load run. It was wild. Um, the dye that's in my hair right now is just the L'Oreal stuff from the drugstore. Um, I neither... I, I review it in no way in particular. It made my hair pink. That's pretty much what I was looking for, but a lot of people prefer other things. What am I doing? I'm going to... Architress. How am I going to Architraz? Uh, this way. <laughs> Curious what other colors lend themselves well to super short hair. I was trying to think that because I can pretty easily change the color. Um, every time that my buzz grows out, which is probably like three to four weeks to get about this length of hair to grow from scratch, I could, I could have a completely different color without having to relighten hair or anything like that. And I was looking at the different colors available and I was trying to think of what I actually wanted. And I'm kind of tempted to just keep it pink for a long time. But I also could see myself doing like a lavender kind of periwinkle purple situation. Oh, I forgot. I bought some things and I didn't um, I didn't pick them up. I bought some transmog off the auction house. I also uh, saved current gear. Is my current gear okay? It says I'm missing something. Hopefully just because I got an upgrade and not because I accidentally vendored one of my pieces of gear. Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, fell iron plate boots, shield, gloves, those bracers from that raid that I just did, and here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to take a look and see lookalike appearances. Dungeons and raids, burning crusade, Architraz. <laughs> Normal. Heroic. So this is the item in particular, the Doom Plate Chest Guard. Shared appearances. Oh, I see. So it can come from Rajkar Soccer Trees, Doom Plate Chest Guard. So there's a blue version that presumably shares the same appearance. Okie dokie. Um, how do I want to do this? I just purchased your shin bone for 75 gold. Thank you. Congrats! Oh, I'm glad it went to somebody who, who needs it. I'm going to um, Stormwind first. I like deep dark green, but on short hair it might look like moss. I used to love having my hair green, and I've had some beautiful green hair before, but my feeling is that on on with this length, I might find it to be too much resembling uh, moss and or broccoli. <laughs> um, so I might stay in the pink purple region. Chia Hazel. Chia. 
yeah kind of chia pet exactly i think pink's cute i think um i think that it wouldn't kill me to well i was gonna say it wouldn't kill me to keep the same look for like half a year but it might <laughs> um my the one the only thing that's really consistent with me and my hair is that i love changing my hair <laughs> it's too much fun to change my hair for me to stop changing my hair can i flight path my way over there that would be nice i don't really want to fly myself interested in how yellow would look i think you're out of luck i don't think i'll ever do yellow there we go. Deep emerald green. Yeah, I think teal might teal might be doable if it was like a very blue blue green teal. I've had blue blue hair before and I found I didn't um it was very cool. Obviously it's blue. <laughs> it's like the coolest of the cool tones. Uh it, purple purple is a little is a little nicer on me in my own in my own estimation, which is the the main one driving the decisions. But teal's just like my favorite color. All of my stuff is teal. <laughs> People might start to think I'm promoting some kind of a teal business. Teal and green to match somewhere and wow. My evoker had teal hair for a long time back when she had hair. Shinbone is the last thing for deadlines. Nice. I will, uh, one sec. I'm gonna leave myself on this light path for a minute. <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> yeah. My understanding of my undertones is that they are neutral to yellow. Um, oh, so blue made me pretty washed out. Oh. I like the pink though. <laughs> Pink makes me feel cute. <sighs> it is shockingly less messy to dye short hair at home yourself than it is to dye long hair at home yourself. <laughs> I uh, I couldn't I couldn't believe how much of a not how much easier it was. <laughs> I I mean it makes sense, but I just I guess I didn't really think it through. Oh, it'll be fun to farm a dungeon instead of a raid for a little bit. Um, obviously less overall mod available, but. For plate, um, for plate, there will still be some stuff. So for Architraz, unfortunately, there are quests. And those appear to have a pretty decent quest line that I haven't done. So we're not going to worry about the quest mog. But there is one, two, three. Oh, yeah, there's all there's all kinds of weapons as well. Oh, I see. This is this is for for um, account mode. If we toggle it back to character specific. Uh, five pieces available. Five pieces available. Reflex blades. Gauntlets. Uh, six pieces, maybe. Crossbow, warm all, doom plate chest card, just what we're after. And then a breastplate from Har Har Harbinger Skyrus. Yeah, bathtub does not look like a Muppet Massacre. Oh. <sighs> Hello, hello. How are you? Would it be worth it to use a tabard for rep? Maybe, but I'm just not that forward thinking. Um, quite possibly. The ensembles from the trading post, what slots do they transmug on? Which ones? It should say when you're browsing the trading post. 
This ensemble transmogs onto, I think, almost all slots. I think it covers boots, gloves. I don't know if it has bracers, but it's certainly got the... It's like a... I feel like it's most slots for that one. Bell of Heritage, worth getting the Silver Moon Tabard, Spam Botanica. All butt bracers. Okay. I still have to do the Bell of Heritage quest line. <laughs> Oh, I still also didn't someone was telling me that well no I can't remember never mind <laughs> I don't know anything not having played BC yourself do you like Outland I like the colors um and I played I, I didn't play through it when it was current but I took it upon myself to play through it like it was current after the fact at least in terms of like solo and outdoor and single player play like I farmed the reps and stuff before I let myself move on to Wrath back in the day Architraz is um this way <sighs> It's not a zone that I spend a lot of time in unless I'm looking for Mog, though, because it's just it just feels a bit inconvenient relative to some of the other stuff. So we're going to do this on Heroic first, because I don't see any reason not to do a Heroic clear. That's weird. I kind of thought that would work. I guess I don't know exactly where the Architraz portal is. Oh, it's up. I see. I found it. Do you still need a key? Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find out. Huh. Nah, I think I'm allowed in. Blizz doesn't believe in keys anymore. Thank goodness. <laughs> Count me in favor of that. Okie dokie. Warriors are nice and fast on their own, too. So we're specifically after the Doomplate chest guard, but I will take anything I can get. Thought you had to be level 70 to do wrist. One of my level 62 paladin. Oh, nice. So many whole zones I've never seen. This is really cool. Yeah. That's one of the benefits of a game that's been around for so long, that's been making content for so long, is there's so many cool places to like explore and discover. I don't think there was anything I could have gotten from there. Even though it's only two pieces of loot, I think the one thing... Am I making this up? The one thing that you have is that makes farming dungeons not as bad as farming a 10-man raid is that I think the loot pools were smaller. They just... The bosses didn't drop as many different things. So there's Delilah. There's Socrates. Socrates is the one that I need. Is that Socrates? Soc pardon me. <laughs> now that um the experience event is over, what's everybody's favorite ways to level alts 60 to 70? Is it still just time walking, but it's worse <laughs> than, it, than it was with the buff? <sighs> I'm kind of waiting for them to add a better way to get rep. Sixty to seventy, just doing the dragon riding world quests. Mm -hmm. One level per week. Decent gold, decent gold, and ex golden supplies. So you can drop me my chest plate. One doom guard chest plate, please. Doom plate chest guard. Nope, I did get the war mall though that I needed, so that's something. And then <laughs> it's nice that both of the bosses are just like right here. Cool, cool. And I needed those reflex plates as well, that fist weapon. So I've got a couple of new appearances. The fist weapon looks like that. Kind of neat. And then the war mall looks like that. BC had some had some nice appearances. They're older, but they're like bright and colorful. And they've got cool designs to them. Harbinger Skyrim. So we're not done. There's more. Farming herbs, mining. Ran dungeons, two or three. Two or three per level. Oh, hang on. I'm at three level 70s. I think I'll do one more. Ah, this way. There we go. This guy can give me a chest piece as well. Which actually, I think, is a recolor. I think that's a shared appearance. Well, maybe not. Breastplate of the bold. 
Maybe they're slightly recolored. Is that one a little more purple, maybe? And that one's a little bit more blue. Yeah, they're they're recolors. Gotcha. Supposed to be ready. I get stuck. Go kill things. Level an ult. Mm. I feel that. Do you ever have any luck just like changing up your writing environment? Just like taking it to... Sometimes I debate the wisdom of just taking my uh, things that I'm trying to focus on to like a coffee shop or a park or a library or just anything. It means <laughs> compressing myself to a laptop and working away from home. But if it gives me a chance to actually focus... This is Millhouse. Oh, that's right. This is boss. Takes a minute, doesn't it? <laughs> that's right. Time walking if I can be bothered. World quests for gear mostly. Random side quests if I can swing a profession for scraps. My library has a cat and is an old mansion. Oh, that's awesome. Is this where he calls us sweet cheeks? <laughs> he called me what now? <laughs> we'll have to see here. Do we have dialogue on? Actually, I don't know if it's voice acted. It might just be... Uh... Oh, no, it is. Incomprehensible power! <laughs> Where in are those brass buttons am I? Who <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What is this? A lowly gnome? <gasps> I will do better, oh great one. Slash gasp. He's thirsty. Fantastic. Next, some One final spell. cell remains. Yes, now yes, we're cooking. Right away. And of course, I'll need some mana. You guys are gonna love this. Just wait. <laughs> to control the mind of the oh, mind. All right. Uh, who ordered up an extra large can of wood bag? An extra large can of, pardon me? You want to give me a rest plate? Always helpful, Milhouse Manister. Welcome, oh great one. Bear witness to the agents of your No luck. I like that lamp, but I already had it. I thought those lamps were pretty. Naru looking ones. Uh, I don't have any current plans to try Palia, but I'm not saying never. But uh, I, I don't. I'm not cooking up anything. Here, I'm going to turn off dialogue, because we're going to run this again. And, uh... <laughs> that might be, um... <laughs> might be about all we can do. Uh, is there a teleport out for this one? Milhouse, can you get me out of here? You want to take me to the front? No? Eh, we can do it the old-fashioned way. Pre-made custom. BC dungeons were pretty good about... I guess this isn't the old-fashioned way. They used to be pretty good about, um, having exits near the end. Like, they kind of understood that people wanted to leave the dungeon without teleporting. Nope. Okay. That's yeah, okay. This works too. Oh, I got a couple of things in there. But we can do normal repeatedly. And he will give up this chest guard. Besides, if we get the breastplate off of Skyrus, we can stop after Sarcothrides. And we can probably just cap out instance lock. 10 instances per hour. Graveyard's pretty far. Walking out is close to as fast. Oh. Oh, is this going to stick me at the graveyard? I guess we'll see. Yeah, teleported to the nearest graveyard. I'll take a look at it. Hmm. Excited for Palia. Normally only do WoW and ACNH. Hmm. 
I think I'm missing the new game gene. <laughs> I don't know what someone would have to make for to get me excited about a new game before it comes out. I don't know if it's possible. I just might not have it in me. So we're going to reset. Not that it really matters. We're going to crank it back down to normal. And then I'm going to... My Onyx can't fly, unfortunately. Oh, that is a decent ways out. We're heading up there. It's not too bad. At least you can fly. Um, am I keeping my red buttons? <laughs> kind of. I'm kind of impressed by my pile of big red buttons. I don't think I'll keep them forever, but I might keep them for a while. Ugh. My DK is unfortunately only level 19. It's a good idea, though. It'll be on Switch. Cozy games I can play on days to work to sit in front of my computer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. I could keep a screenshot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll keep it forever, but I'm not ready to let go of them just yet. They're like your shin bone mother. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that I got the same drop off of that boss. And mind you, it's legacy loot, so it could have dropped me anything, including things that were not for my armor type. And I got the same drop nine kills in a row. That was the part that just flabbergasted me. I don't know what the odds of that were, but they, they felt un unlikely. <laughs> okay. Up the stairs. What if I'm trying to build, like, a keytar? <laughs> How many big red buttons do I need to make a, um... I'm trying to think of something else with a lot of buttons. Microwave. <laughs> Keyboard. Stream deck! I wonder if any streamers set up a stream deck to have, like, a big red button on their stream deck that's just, like, a kill switch for the whole stream. I, I don't have such a thing. I feel like that's... I would, I would be... I would be more likely to fat finger it and then regret it than I would be to actually need to kill my stream at a button's press. <sighs> Probably have enough for a microwave. Multiple guitar hero. Quote, guitars. <laughs> I remember being not insecure, but aware of my guitar hero skill level relative to my friends and thinking that it was like a real problem that I was going to have to practice that to get better at. I don't know why it was so important that I be good at Guitar Hero. I don't think any of my friends cared, but um, I figured I figured that it would be a good life skill. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking for Doom Plate Chess Guard. Drat. I did need that crossbow though, so that is nice. And then uh, I'm gonna finish it too because I also need the because um, we're we're not done yet. We need the. Uh... <sighs> The breastplate from Skyrus as well. Tried to be good at Guitar Hero too. Can't imagine what would be so crazy you would need a big red button for stream. Yeah. I think killing the stream on my end would be pretty dramatic. Because for most things, like, if I get, like, a phone call or someone at the door that I have to go talk to and there's, like, you know, I'm worried about, you know, doxing related information, I have a mute button. I have a... I have a... I have a mute button available that I can and do use for stuff like that. I feel like killing the stream with a moment's notice would just raise more questions than anything. <laughs> Drew Mason recently made a video about it under the guise of can this help me get better with actual guitar? <laughs> what was the verdict? <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Once farmed ZG for some transmog. Getting mad how I'd gotten every other item like 20 times until I realized I was killing Zanzil, who was in the room Jinda was in classic. Oh my gosh. No spoilers. Mm. I guess that's the one thing about taking a multiple months long break from like YouTube and series and stuff is that if I ever go back to it, I'll have a backlog saved up. <laughs> this is mostly just a lot of waiting. At least it's not one of those things where you have to do a bunch of stuff. Hmm. 
I wonder if it's actually faster to just run out. Talking with social security on speaker on stream. Oh man. Guitar Hero made me learn guitar, ultimately go to music college, become a musician. Holy smokes. Yeah, every- I'm pretty isolated. I very much live in a bubble when it comes to stream. I am very out of touch with what other people do and what popular streamers are doing. But I know that, like with any kind of user-made content, you're going to have a really wide range of the types of things that people will do on stream. And every now and then I'll hear somebody doing something and I'll be like, really? Okie dokie. <laughs> Might depend on movement speed, yeah. I do think that um, that teleporting out and then flying back from the graveyard is probably the lower lift way if you were not wanting to navigate a bunch. Um, especially if you didn't have a speed set. <sighs> I'll try running out after this one. I think that running out would definitely be the move if I was only farming to Socrates. So if this guy can give me his chest piece, that would be great. He has... How much loot does he have? Skyrus on normal could drop. Oh, he's got a pretty big loot table, so it might actually be a bit difficult to get the chest piece because he's only going to drop two things. Yeah, that's a pretty big loot table. That's a bit concerning. <laughs> this, I, see, I appear to have found myself in a, in a slightly annoying grind. <laughs> Managed to make the streamer killed on their end, but still. I hope that they tr they tried to mute it and they just weren't successful because sometimes you'll set up stream deck buttons or like shortcuts or whatever and they just like something will go on the fritz and it won't work. You know, the system breaks down at some point. I don't think you can use bonus rolls in BC dungeons. I don't think they'd invented those yet. More fun to run than it is to wait for a minute? Maybe. If you like running. Okay, no luck with that. I'm getting increasingly less optimistic that I will have luck with that. Oh, Crinkle's not very fast if she doesn't have anything to charge to. Oh, depending on how good you get at leaving the group before the boss is dead. Mm. Yeah. Oh, to like time that last minute. Oh, that would be funny. You figure out exactly the right moment to list the group and leave it so you have time to finish the fight and loot the boss before you zone out. <sighs> um, you might be able to charge to a target dummy, but it would probably... You'd have to be a god gamer to make that actually faster for a run back like this to be able to place it and charge to it on the fly. Eh, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if you had it on a keybind, but... Hmm. I don't know, I feel like the range of it would be a bit limiting. Yeah, but Warrior's pretty good. Leap, Leap takes you pretty far. I'm happy with it. It's on a nice short cooldown, too. Fun minigame, but it sure can backfire. <laughs> I I can just imagine me being, like, a couple of seconds away from the RP finishing and summoning the boss for me to kill, and it just, like, 10, 9, 8. <sighs> it's okay. I left some trash up. Apparently that's the move. If I get the chest piece from from this guy, I can I can move on with my life. I don't have to farm this breastplate at this particular moment. But if I don't get the, don't get it, then I may as well finish the clear. There we go. <laughs> Almost out. Yeah, I don't know if it's faster for me with my movement speed. Even even with my best efforts. I think I could have zoned out and flown back by now. Hmm. Looking for an alt? Can't decide. Too much choice. Play now. BM Hunter. Prop Paladin. I think it's time for you to try a healer. <laughs> Raid difficulty. Dungeon difficulty. Reset. 
play a um play a priest and then you can try two different healing specs plus you'll always have shadow if you decide you just hate healing shadow's really fun We've reset. Going back in. Type as Hazel says the same thing. It's been, it's destiny. It's been ordained. <laughs> you have to do it. Because pe people really enjoy playing Discipline Priest. I'm not, I'm not one of them, but people seem to g get a great deal of uh, satisfaction from it. That glove that did not sell as a rep item? That glove that did not sell is a rep item. This feels like a riddle. <laughs> hmm. In my bag. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprised that anybody wants those. Rep turn-ins, yeah. Shamans have a good spam belay we for farming old raids. My understanding... We had a conversation about this, like, a, yesterday, maybe? And I feel like not really. Um, they'll have some stuff that's all right, but I feel like the answer is no. <laughs> they're, they're decent at movement speed, but they're one of the more annoying characters to farm raids with because of that. Achievement for getting exalted, Scars and Elder on the same tune, a lot of rep. Mm. That doesn't sound like something I'm gonna do. One day. Yeah, I'm probably still gonna struggle th well, no, actually, I don't know if I am, because I was gonna say I'll need to do male wearing on a character that can heal and stuff, but I have an evoker now. Uh, my evoker could do Valrithia just fine. Although sometimes you just need to farm a thing for just the class set. All right, one breastplate, please, please. Yes! <laughs> Doomplate chest guard, that's exactly what we wanted. That was the thing all the things Random had is looking for. I'll still finish the instance just on the off chance that it gives me the, uh, the breastplate of the bold, but that is one more thing off the list. Plus, I also got Thalia's self-correcting gauntlet, but I didn't even know I needed. <laughs> maybe it's just an item I do get, but maybe it's a uh... thing. Working the achievement now for recipes you can buy. Exalt with Eldor first. I have to grind double rep to get exalted for Scryers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. I thought the trouble with Earthquake is I thought it was both a hard cast and also a spender. Um, so you would need to have some some shaman juice to use it but they may have changed it since the last time I looked at it instant but cost maelstrom okay if this drops you'll need BOEs which I believe drop in many places mm, I see I see I have no faith that this will drop there's too many things in this loot table <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. No faith. What is the best alliance realm? <laughs> Whatever one you're on. Realms don't matter for nearly as many things as they used to. Sometimes you want high pop realms for some things, but then sometimes you st you're stuck with a login queue when uh, stuff comes out and then you're like, wow, I wish I wasn't on this high pop realm. <laughs> Light prayer. <laughs> That's my realm. <laughs> I didn't use, uh, I have alacrity files on me. I forgot to use them. I guess it doesn't really make me all that much faster. 
low pop, good for rare mobs. Yeah. Yeah, there's upsides and downsides to all the different setups. I've always preferred medium because it was kind of... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Best of... I don't know. I, I play in the realm where my guild is. Um, I'm probably not going to check if the BC rares are up at this particular moment. I think that after I'm done this run, I'm going to roll a new item just to see what my next quest is because we got the Doom Plate Chest Guard. But I'm probably going to wrap up stream and end it after that. It's getting pretty close to noon. When do you start and you leave your group? That's a good question. I guess if you wanted to figure that out. I mean, I'm not going to do it at all for this one because I can just hearth out after this. This is this is my last run of this one for today. Mm. But yeah, you would have to... What I would probably do would, it would be I would time the fight and then I would reverse engineer it. You would either record it maybe just to make it nice and easy or just run a stopwatch and figure out what part of the RP is happening and then give yourself maybe 10 or 15 seconds of buffer time. I can check off the Doom Plate chest card. I'm glad it gave me a plate thing. That was nice. <laughs> Appreciate that. Any luck? Nope, didn't think so. I got a vile blade. All right, so you can go home for the moment. Cute cat shows up. There goes your buffer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that does happen around here. Before you wrap up, we need to check the percentage. True, 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 true. I should check it on like the same character. I should go back and check it on Petal Bloom because she was the one that I got it. It shouldn't matter, but for whatever reason, it does. Or maybe it doesn't. And it was just a more things being added kind of situation. Oh yeah, I can sell that. So many things. Vendor, 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 vendor. Hmm. Never the big red buttons though. <laughs> those are important. Yeah, people do buy those. That's interesting. I remember farming these raids and I couldn't sell those things for love or money. No one wanted them at the time. Collecting must have gotten more popular. Fun to record your percentage every week or month. Watch your progress. People were telling me about this data for Azeroth graph. Uh, main list. Main list. 54.13. Up from 54.04. 0.09%? <laughs> Decent chunk of things. We've actually gotten quite a few things today because the, um, the, the, uh, almost point one up. It's, I, I got a bunch of vendor mog in Orgrimmar. <laughs> Graph sounds dangerous. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> well, well, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. yeah, those those have definitely gone up. Anything cheap? Anything cheap and cheap that I need? Yeah. I'll take that. Gloves. I usually try and make sure that it's at least like a world a world drop or something similar before I do it. Something that it would be annoying to farm. World drop plate. Okay. And then weapons. That is a limited vendor item. It's a limited vendor item. Nah. I'm saving my 500 gold. That one is a world drop. You can have 500 gold for a world drop. That's fine. <laughs> world drops are just notoriously difficult to farm on purpose. Doesn't mean that you would never get one to drop for you, but I don't I don't mind spending a little bit a little bit for those every now and then if they show up. You only have to buy them once. There you go, another four items. <laughs> uh ATT Random can suggest anything that is within your settings. It's been it's been suggesting me dungeon loot, but it's not limited to only that. Let me make sure I'm not on account mode. Open up the main list. Yeah, 54.14. That's right. All right. 
Random new item? Fang of the Sundered f <laughs> No! <sighs> I have to decide whether or not I'm making an exception to my rules. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. It's a heroic Sark Agi dagger. That doesn't count yet. If it was if it was normal Sark, I would consider like gearing up my rogue and learning how to play it and whatever, but not for heroic Sark. There's no way. Absolutely not. Reroll. That's PvP. That is RBG's mage. PvP. Warlord Silk, I think that's PvP as well. PvP. Draconic Maul. Blackwing Lair Zone Drop. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. <laughs> Is it cool looking? Yeah, it's really cool looking. How um, awful is that going to be? Draconic Mall. BWL Zone Drop. I'm going to wow head that and read more about it. Death Talon Trash, it looks like. It's BOP, so I can't buy it on the auction house. Um, or at least the tooltip is indicating that it's BOP. I'll check, but... Probably get lots of mug from BWL? Probably. Draconic Mall. Is BWL... Um, cataclysm? All the things D and R. Classic? Vanilla. What am I thinking of? Black Wing Descent. Why does this look so cool then? Why is that such an awesome modern looking appearance? Is it just like the sickest thing ever? Hazel, hope you're well. Hello! I'm wow hitting this. Draconic Maul. I've never heard of it. Being a two-handed mace, I could collect that on a few different characters, actually. Evoker. A few nice two-handers from that trash, I believe. So, it's got a chance to drop from Death Talon. Captains, Flame Scales, Wormkins, and Seethers. Elites in Blackwing Lair. It's got a lot of comments. Um... It, uh, so Warrior, Shaman, Paladin, Druids, Evokers. Not a lot of um, comments from people farming it for Transmog. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be brutal. All you can do is clear, clear the raid once, though. Oh, well, that's not true, is it, if it's trash? People get it before all the tier. What are the drop rate numbers? They're pretty high, but people in the comments are saying they're skewed because of a small sample size. It says that they're, that it's a 13% chance from the Death Talon Captain. How do I even... Here, hang on a second. I'm just going to go have a little poke around. I know I'm going to end my stream, but I'm just going to... I just want to go take a look at what this farm even looks like. <laughs> just going to have a little look-see. <sighs> Um, so if I go, oh, you know what I, you know what I can do to get down to there is I can go Dalaran to Pet Battle Portal. Got it before all the tier personally. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure I'm missing tier from there, particularly on Plate and Warrior. I think I have remember which one that is. Can you please send me to Blackrock Depths? First boss, gimmick mechanics, suppression room annoying, otherwise cool. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know which raid this is. Okay. It's coming back to me anyways. Get out of here. 
Maybe I'm not in the right place. I kind of thought this was a genius way to get to Blackwing Lair. And I'm starting to think that um, I'm not as smart as I thought I was. This is a genius way to get to Molten Core. <laughs> it is? I don't remember how to leave. I do not remember how to leave. That says BRD. And that oh, it's past that chain. Oh, I see. I just run past the MC entrance. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. Crisis averted. Uh, can't be that rare. I have it. I've never run that. Okay. Yeah, if it's BOP and it's a two-handed mace, it's probably just because I never really ran it much in characters that could use that. Although I remember farming a lot of BWL on Shaman, which should have been able to get it to drop, I think. Uh, just because I needed, um, I liked that Shaman tier set a lot, so I farmed that Shaman set to wear. Okay. Thank goodness for maps with the lo with the labels and stuff. I remember they didn't used to have those, and I had a ruinous time trying to get to raids. So there are no difficulties for these really old ones, right? It's just like, here's the raid. It is a raid. It doesn't matter what difficulty I'm on. I could say heroic 25 player and it won't matter. Yeah. Okay. So you send me in. Out of curiosity. A lot of zone drops. A lot of zone drops, actually. Oh yeah, this was annoying. I think it's less annoying now, but it's still more annoying than nothing. It's more annoying than not annoying. Nope, no, not that one. Destroy egg. That's right. Oh yeah, because it's, it's instant cast now. It's not like a big channel. But you still have to do all the eggs. So a razor bar could give me a weapon or some bracers. <laughs> yeah, this used to be worse. <laughs> Making an omelet. I'll still be happier if they let me just slap this boss with a stick. <laughs> This used to take like five minutes though. It used to be, it used to be an actual thing. Also, I remember I used to have to like wait for it. Like I would bring it all the way here and I would let it like slap me for a minute and then I would hit it and kill it. Cause I remember I used to be able to bug it out by killing it too fast. I don't know if that's still the case. There we go. Any luck? Mm, nope. Leather and mail that I didn't have collected yet. Wrong way. <laughs> you can just kill it now? Okay. <sighs> Wasn't for me, just kill it right away. Gotcha. Okay, okay. This one has a warrior belt and then a helmet. And I happen to be on a warrior. I usually ran past this one, so I guess I don't know much about it. But I do need to make sure that I kill trash for the different zone drops, because that's one of them. Even if it is just specific. I'll just try and kill as much trash as I can. Yeah, there isn't a lot of trash in here at all. This boss was awesome. Oh, somebody bought my mode of shadow. Oh, and I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna leave. Did I turn music off? Sound off? There we go. <laughs> What's happened is my headphones have just died because they have the battery for a three hour stream and not a moment longer. Oh, I got the Helm of Endless Rage that I needed. Nice, nice. Well, plate Helm look. <laughs> hmm, 24 hour? Oh man. <laughs> I feel like I would do a 24 hour stream. And it would be, you know, like 12 times as long as my normal stream. Maybe not, maybe 10 times, eight times, nine times, but it would result in basically the same thing. <laughs> Great name for an ugly helm. Oh yeah, I need to make sure I'm not missing anything. Death Talon, yeah, we, I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm clearing the trash. The trash has the word. These guys could drop the, the mall that I need. Hello, excuse me. No, okie dokie. Maybe next time.
Yeah, I've done... I think I usually cap out for like expansion launches or New Year's at like five or six hours. I don't think I've ever gone beyond six hours. Nah, there's no skip for this raid. Now this area is annoying. It has a lot of trash, but what if I want to kill the trash? Yeah, I don't think these guys can drop me anything. I think I'm safe to just kind of... Yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. I'm not mad at that. Twenty-four hour all solo shuffle. <sighs> oh yeah, that's right. People drag that trash in. I remember people telling me about that when I used to farm this, so that they can, so that you can skip this part. <sighs> and I was just mad at it because it was unintuitive, and I didn't want to do it because it was unintuitive. So I would just crawl through this thing out of pure unadulterated spite. They have a knockback that can knock you up the walls to skip the suppression room. Yeah. Room is only good for farming skidding. That tracks. <laughs> Off-label usage does not compute. At least a warrior can can like charge and lead through a, through a good chunk of it. Hmm. You can stealth past the traps. Oh. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, I got heart striker. That's a bow I didn't have before. Oh, it's a cool bow. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that thing. I might have to put that into a hunter mug. I don't have any current and immediate plans to do it, but it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if these... Oh, the, the, the black wings and the death talents. They are the ones that can drop them all. So, the goblins, not so much. I said I was going to leave. I lied. <laughs> I want that bow. I like that bow. A Rarenthal Drazus drops it too. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we might as well finish the whole thing now. I need um, all manner of Mog from here. I've, I'm pretty sure I've never come through here in a warrior before. So I need a bunch of loot from Nefarian and everything. Oh yeah, that's a really cool sword too. People, I've heard people talk about Ash Candy, but I never really thought about it. I'd never actually seen it. Okay. Yeah, there's so little trash in here. I feel like there's no harm in just clearing all of it, just cause, just in case they drop anything that is either valuable or unexpectedly needed. I'm getting elementium ingots. <laughs> Do people need those for anything? Ebon Rock could drop a couple of different pieces of loot for me. Any luck? Uh, nope, not that time. Goblin's Guide to Elementium. <laughs> Good money if you bring a Skinner. Mm. Uh, I needed both of those things. I needed the Pauldrons and the Herald of Woes. Excellent. Are they cool? I bet you they're cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not the same. Not the same. I used to farm this raid to get um, Kerminius because uh, it was it used to be like the thing to have for the, the Howl Bomb strategy. Hey, look, I got, I got one. I wonder if they're still worth anything just for people getting them for... I, I, that strategy got nerfed, but it still works for some things. Run around for hours to make sure I've killed every last trash bomb in there. And then it's Nefarian time. Yeah, it's nice and short. <laughs> if I end up doing this every week on every character, I'll probably get over myself and start having those mobs kick me up the, the hallway, but <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't sound like me. From those boots for so long, never got them. Chromatic boots. Are they rare? I did get them. Chromatic boots. Maybe just a uh, last item syndrome. Hmm. Why are these transmogs so much cooler than everything else? 
I want them for my pink plate mug. Mm. That's fair. There's not a whole lot of pink plate. Or pink anything, really. I think it was around Wrath when I started to... And I, th I guess it's just because it had themes that weren't personally all that appealing to me. But I feel like Wrath brought um, appearances into a bit of a dark age for me. <laughs> There's just much more muted, grittier, more realistic, less colors. Um, a lot of rusty metal and, you know, tattered leather and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, Blackwing, all the things gave me Blackwing Lair. Technically for a zone drop. I got the Breastplate of Wrath that I evidently needed. Nothing else, though. Should I turn in this head in a fairy and just so it stops bothering me and dropping every week? That sounds like something I should do. Hmm. Although, I'm, um, out of teleports on this character. Yeah. I have a bad habit of deleting stuff like that and then not um, not dealing with it. I guess I'll just log out. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow for a Friday morning, most likely mog farming stream. I appreciate your company very much, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.